Hey, Floody Good! Uh, how is everyone doing on this fan fucking tastic Sunday chat? Oh my god. And why does the why does the alert box go off every fucking time? Please turn that bitch off. Anyways, uh chat. Uh how are you guys doing today? We are fucking doing a react day today. A little dub in the chat for that. Hold up. I gotta fucking add this video. Um, One second. One second. One second. I hate being unprepared on stream. It's the biggest pain in the ass. Anyways, how are y'all doing today? Uh, it's a react day today. We're doing a bunch of reacts today. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a fucking sim day. We're going to be doing more storage hustle tomorrow. Uh, maybe game time glizzies and a few other sim games. Uh, Tuesday, I'm not live. Wednesday, we're going to be doing uh, scary games, itch games, and scary reacts. Thursday is going to be R6 and Fortnite. Probably going to be a shorter stream Thursday. Got to take pictures for my merch because merch drops this upcoming Saturday. Chat, little heads up for you guys because I know shit ends up selling out and you guys get upset about that uh, depending on the sizes and shit. Uh, but... Uh, you know, merch is going to drop Saturday. It's going to be a dub. We got a lot of it, uh, or not a lot of videos, a lot of fucking merch, uh, like new designs and shit that we're going to be dropping. We're doing like basically like once it's dropped and it's sold out, we're never reselling it. Uh, and then we do a new drop every once in a while, but, uh, that'll be Saturday alongside, um, the fucking wheel driving sim game that we're going to be doing alongside some other shit. And then Sunday's reacts, but that's the week schedule. Um, Today's obviously reacts tomorrow's sim day. Tuesday I'm off, uh, and then yeah, the the rest that I said I'm not gonna spiel through it again. If you have any videos or games you want me to react to, exclamation point Discord mods been the Discord link. Video suggestion tab, game suggestion tab. I find most of the videos that I watch the games that I play. Kibo for the ten. Want to say thank you for all the stuff. Uh, thanks. Your stuff has helped me through my the loss of my mom. Rip in the chat uh, for Kibo's mother. I'm sorry to hear that your mom passed, uh, but I'm glad I was able to help. Chunky for the three. Finna buy the merch. Also, could he recreate? Another for the three. Cringy. I want to let you know. Chunky Chuck. Chunky Chuck. Cringy. Cringy. Right? Cringy. When you ask me to recreate the Drake video, cringy. Right? Max for the three. What's up, Joe? Uh, floating for the three. Sorry, I missed the fact of the day. Ended up in the hospital. I hope you're okay. Uh, fact of the day, 39. Average person will spend 26 hours of sleep. Do you mean 26 days or years? You said the average person will spend 26 hours of sleep. I think you meant years. Was seven for the six, says Flex. Uh, no, because somebody has to redeem it. Adam, Gracie, Chunky, and Moose for the sub. Oh, poor for the three. Username, William. Uh, Dogman, Abby. Uh, Trout for the sub. Uh, it's, uh, Elena, Rare, Tidy, PB, and Mai for the sub. Or Nyla for the sub. Uh, Dizzy and Natural for the sub. Uh, Wiggy for the sub. John for the three. When will we watch Joe's Hungry Food Reviews? I do gotta watch him again. Somebody, or one of my mods sent me a clip from one of his live streams saying he wanted to collab with me and that he said he reached out to me and I didn't respond, but I never saw any of his messages because I don't just check, like, I don't check my DMs like that. Um, and so I'm trying, I added him on Discord. I want to see if he ever wanted to collab. That would be pretty funny if I got on a Joe is Hungry video. Um, bro sending letters or emails? Dude, dead ass. He's probably been sending me, like, emails and I just haven't seen them either. That or he's probably DM'd me, and I just didn't see it because I don't fucking check my DMs. But X Alex for the three. It was going to prom, started driving my friends. Uh, date started having a seizure. I had to honk at an officer to get his attention. Well, I'm glad he's okay. Bigger for the thousand biddies. Uh, you've helped me through a lot these two years. Uh, I've been in out of the hospitals for mental health. You always make my day. Well, I'm glad I was able to help, and I'm glad that you're getting the help that you need. And I'm sorry you've been, you know, kind of in and out. Right for the sub, keep up for the 10. She passed two weeks ago, but in a bad place. Your content helps a lot. I'm sorry to hear that, man. I hope the morning process goes well. Uh, and I'm sorry that you lost your mother. Uh, what did she die from, if you mind me asking? Harper for the sub. Wiggy for the sub and C5 for the sub. Uh, you don't need to answer that if you don't want to. Chunky for the three. Sorry that was cringe as fuck. Love your content. Thank you. All right. Anyways, chat. Little rundown of the videos that we got for today. Um, we starting out with a fucking trailer for this game. Or not game. This fucking movie called Cuckoo, which is off of The Bird. Uh, or about a bird, or named after the bird that lays eggs in other people's nests, or other birds' nests, and tries to, tries to get the um, other birds to raise their young. So I'm assuming it's going to be like a horror movie or some shit. 
Uh, every parent's worst nightmare in EWU uh, body cam video. I just said celebrity-owned restaurants. The world's most expensive blunt cost 50k. We were supposed to watch this yesterday, but I was high and I forgot. So we're gonna watch it today. Uh, meet Hulk, uh, the giant 175 pound family pipple old video, but I haven't seen it. Nine most painful things you could ever experience. The death of children's biggest icon. This is about Jojo Siwa. Uh, YouTuber goes into debt for Mr. Beast and the tragic story of counterfeit vape epidemic. I gotta sneeze. Motherfucker, dude. I fucking hate when that happens. My allergies are... Is anybody else's allergies fucking horrible right now? I have terrible seasonal allergies in the spring. And I blow my nose every 10 seconds, dude. It's fucking horrible. Mr. Beast video, we watched it yesterday, buddy. You missed it. Ugh. 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 Michael for the sub, Scrob for the sub, Kibo for the five. She had a brain tumor. We thought she was recovering when it came back stronger. Thanks for asking. Well, I'm sorry um, that you're going through that, man. You and your family. Uh, and ripping the chat from your mom. Fact for the three. Uh, Seahawks for the five. Named my cat Bart, short for Bartholomew, partially after you. Would you ever go on the JC podcast with Cole for the thousand buddies? Uh, yeah. Uh, he asked me about it, like, probably a month ago. Uh, and I said I would this summer when I'm not, you know, dealing. Like, I have college finals and all this shit, like, this week, next week, the week after that. So I'm kind of packed uh, in terms of, like, stuff right now. Uh, I literally am just, like, streaming and then going and doing classwork and then fucking doing YouTube shit and making TikToks. It's just, like, I wake up, do shit, and then I have, like, an hour at night out for free time. And I usually just end up fucking eating an edible, not flying to Florida to go fucking film a podcast. Fuck over the three, Frank for the three. When I spoke with my mate, he goes crazy and laughs maniacally. I wonder if he's faking it or it's just me. What do you mean if he's faking it or it's just you? Him laughing maniacally is kind of creepy. Anyways, lock in for the fucking trailer here, chat. Cuckoo. One of you guys sent this in. Hopefully it's a fucking good trailer. Possibly a good movie. Pop up for the fucking 500 biddies. Love your streams. Brooke, my ankle. I haven't been able to play basketball. I'm sorry to hear that. Lock in. Play, play store tussle all day tomorrow. I'll play for a lot tomorrow, but I do want to play other sim games tomorrow too. Today's reacts tomorrow sim games. Tuesday off, Wednesday scary games. Thursday Rainbow Six Fortnite. Probably a shorter stream because I gotta fucking take pictures for merch for Saturday. Uh, Friday reacts. Saturday merch drop plus uh, behind the wheel driving sim game and maybe some other random game. Sunday reacts. Next Monday. Simi Lacroix. Lock in. How was your journey? Very pleasant, thank Good. you. Gretchen, come say hi. Yo, off topic. Off topic. Started the fucking Fallout uh show last night. Best show in a fucking while, bro. Oh my god, it's amazing. It's uh, like I yo, I am every show, every episode is a is an hour and a half. It's a fucking watch Invincible. I haven't seen Invincible. Dude, every show is a fucking movie. Don't spoil it. I'm not going to. That shit just dropped. That would be fucked if I spoiled it. Well, I mean it's based off the game lore. But dude, amazing. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's fucking free on Amazon Prime. Not even <laughs> sponsored by that shit amazing ass show i want people to watch it so they make another fucking season because that shit i've watched the first two episodes oh my god dude it was like it's two it, it, it the first episode was an hour and a half so i'm your neighbor i haven't heard about you why would you have heard about me <laughs> how would you like to Come work for me at the resort. Yo, can I say this is either going to be a really good trailer or a really bad trailer? Because right now I have no idea what's going on. And sometimes that's good, right? Because you ever watch a trailer before and it literally just explains the entire movie and then you just don't want to watch the fucking movie anymore? 
I feel like that's me with like half of the horror trailers I watch. I'll watch it and I'm like, dude, I already know what's gonna happen. Like, I've just watched the entire film. Like, you gave me like a 30 second fucking snippet. And then you jump to the monster and then jump to the ending. Yo, Mr. Nico for the 10K biddies. Thumb in the chat for that. Thank you for the fucking 10,000 biddies, Mr. Nico284. I appreciate the fucking biddies, bro. Oh my god, thank you. Stunned for the sub key for the three. The show is the definition of perfection, maybe even better than Breaking Bad. I would say it's better than Breaking Bad. Ah, uh, Breaking Bad just dra like just drags in some episodes. Random uh, Avery and Papa for the sub Devo for the five. Finish the fall uh, show. I like Maximus the most, though. Uh, Jack for the three. Don't know if you remember. About a month ago, I asked advice on how to get in better shape. You recommend calisthenics, so I started doing pulls, push-ups, and sit-ups. Could only start doing one pull-up, 15 push-ups, 20 sit-ups. Now I'm at 10 pull-ups, 15 push-ups, 50 sit-ups. That's a dub. Peyton for the sub, pop for the three. Uh, and stud for the sub. Mr. Nico, thank you for the pitties, bro. <laughs> Chat, I'm letting y'all know. My body is producing snot. Like China produces iPhones, okay? I am going to be sneezing and fucking blowing my nose every fucking five minutes, okay? Bubble for the sub. I already took my allergy meds. Don't tell me that that's going to fix it. It doesn't do shit. This happened sometimes. Did she just puke? You look like you don't belong here. Why is there nobody working the reception after 10? Honestly, this sounds like a good trailer to me. Because I have no idea what's going on, but it's it's making me want to watch it. And that's what a trailer should do. Right? When it, You know the worst trailer? The worst trailers? Don't even watch a trailer for a comedy movie. Okay? If you're going to watch a trailer for a comedy movie, you're never going to want to watch the movie. 95% of the time. Because they're going to throw the five best jokes in the fucking trailer. And then you're going to just see, it's it's just like a bunch of filler and then the fucking funny joke. Zoom and Yoles for the sub, a dub for the five. Been watching YouTube for a while, uh, just made Twitch. Any NBA or NHL playoff predictions? Don't watch either of those. <laughs> so no. Pop up for the five, loyal for the three. I could not give G Car for the sub. I'm not dissing people either. I think hockey and basketball are good, are cool, right? I could not give a fuck about the NHL, right? Like, if anything monumental happened, like, say there was a big fucking upset. Like, the biggest upset you've ever seen. I don't even know. Somebody said stop pausing. Buddy, Joe Bart salute in the chat for that fuck. I'll see you next stream, pal. Holy shit. Go watch the trailer yourself. I'm gonna pause whatever the fuck I wanna pause. I'm gonna be streaming for four fucking hours, pal. We're gonna get through the fucking video. Okay? It might take me two hours, but we're gonna get through the fucking video. Anyways. Say, I don't even know the teams. Say the worst team in the NHL played the best team in the NHL and fucking shut them out. And they were it was all over the news. And they were like, this is the most amazing thing ever. I'd be like, well, that's cool. No, that's cool. That's cool. That's, oh, my God, that's great. <sighs> like, I don't care. Right? Does not bother me in any way whatsoever. I don't think there's any sports that I really care about that much. Football, track. If you if you came in my stream and you were like somebody just broke the hundred meter world record, I would drop everything that I was doing and fucking end stream and go watch the fucking meet, right? Like if you were like somebody just ran the fastest hundred meter that in the entirety of the fucking history of the United States, the world, the fucking the earth. I'd be like, okay, I'm going to go watch. Track? Yeah, track's fucking entertaining, dude. Watching some... What about soccer? Ugh. Ugh. I'll watch foreign soccer. Yo, the... What is what is the, the men's soccer league in the United States? Oh, my God. I don't care. I think that shit is so... They're ass. They're ass. They didn't even make the World Cup, the MLS. The fucking men's major league soccer team... Didn't even make, the men's national team didn't even make the fucking World Cup. They suck, right? They suck. They have Messi in Miami. Why would I watch that, right? And Yo, Messi's FIFA rating is in the 80s. I don't care anymore. Sorry. Ronaldo got like an 86. He's trash, right? When... <laughs> 
I'm gonna piss so many people off with this. Bro, if the sec yo, 86 rated Ronaldo. I remember I, I did I haven't even played FIFA in years, but I used to play like FIFA 17. And I, like, that was the last FIFA that I was really into, right? When I was, like, a fucking freshman in high school. And I was like, dude, I need to fucking grind this out. And I remember Ronaldo being, like, a 92. Dude, that motherfucker being rated, at, like, an 85 is crazy. He also plays for, like, does he play for, like, a Saudi team for, like, $2 billion, though? Lock the doors and wait for me. I will come pick you up right now. When's killer frequency? Bitch, I finished that a month ago. Where have you been? Why do people come in my stream and ask me when I'm like, bro, I swear to God, it's like somebody comes to my stream and asks me when I'm finishing Doki. Bro, I finished that shit a fucking week and a half ago. No shot you came into my stream and asked me when I'm finishing killer frequency. I finished that shit in like February. I got no idea what's going on right now in this trailer. I'm going to keep it real. I'm not even high right now, and I got no idea what's going on. It looks good, though. I'd watch it. This is one of those trailers where I'm like, I'm lost, but I'm in. Right? If I were you, I wouldn't want to get hurt even more. Why did you bring us here? Your family belongs here. That's a fucking weird way to put it. You told the police that you were chased by a woman. They think I'm crazy. Now nah, this looks good. I'm going to stop watching the trailer. I feel like it's going to redeem too much. When did this shit come out? When does this shit drop? When does this shit drop? I don't even know. It don't say. I'm going to watch it, though. Kibo for the five. Motherfuckers ask him when the next Red Red RD Red Dead Redemption stream is. Fuck. Yeah. Junko for the sub loyal for the four. He to be that guy. You missed my last two bit nose. Brandello for the three. Basketball is more entertaining than track, though. I don't give a fuck about track, so we're on the same page here, I guess. Yeah. I would say overall, if I had to watch one sport for the rest of my life, it would be track. So I think I think your opinion on if you were to watch basketball, like you saying basketball is more entertaining than track, I'm going to keep it a stack with you. I think that's just a bad opinion, right? Like, and yeah, I'm biased, but track has so much more to offer in terms of variety than fucking basketball, right? And I know basketball is fun. I know it's probably going to become like the next America sport, right? But you're a bad opinion. Bro, there's so much. If you're, if you're at a track meet, you can watch seven things. Track is just running. That, the fact that you just said that means that you don't know anything about track. The fact that you just said track and field is just running. Bro, there are so many more events. Dude, there's events where a guy runs with a pole and tries to vault over 30 foot fucking... Bro, you just piss me off. You just piss me off. You just piss me off. You just actually piss me 24 off. Deni Watch this. Arman Duplantis. Arman Duplantis, dünya rekoru için geliyor. Arman Duplantis yükseldi. Duplantis! You're telling me that's not, you're telling me that's not sick. You're telling me that's not sick. Right? This motherfucker running up. Mondo, Mondo Duplantis. Such as the pole vault, because the slightest error in the placement of the pole vault, or even the takeoff of the athlete, can result in catastrophic consequences. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. He ran and jumped. Oh my god. Oh my god. LeBron put a put a ball in a fucking hoop. Oh, my, what? If you're gonna simplify it that much, snooze fest. Oh my god. Oh my god. He ran and fucking vaulted over something. Oh my god. Steph Curry shot a ball in a net. Cool. What the fuck? Y yeah, I can dumb it down that much. The guys are bouncing balls. They're dribbling balls all over the court and fucking passing it to each other. And fucking, oh, for three, for three, for three. And then they miss 70 th fucking free throws, right? Oh, my God. Yo, you watch a guy, you ever watch a fucking dude just crush an event? And just say, yo, aren't the Olympics this summer? Swear to God. 
100 meter world record. This shit's old as fuck, right? Imagine if you watch this get crushed. Set. This shit was made in 2008. I was six. <laughs> It's the fastest anybody... Dude, it didn't even look like he was running. Swear to God, it looked like he was jogging that bitch. That's the fastest. And I know motherfuckers say, that's boring, right? Because you're watching... Like, this guy looks slow as fuck, right? This guy, this guy right here looks slow as shit. He started jogging. That motherfucker ran a 10-3. He would dust anybody in this chat. He would dust anybody in this chat by three seconds, right? They got to Okay. To make track more entertaining, you know what they should do? Have an average guy just do the events, right? If they... To make it more... Have it... Have, just pull a random fuck from the audience and just say, you're gonna high jump, right? And watch him jump over four feet. And then watch this shit, right? Imagine jumping over eight feet. Imagine jumping, imagine one foot. Ju imagine jumping over something that is two, imagine, chat. I'm, he's already off the ground. Imagine trying to get your body over that. You're telling me that's not impressive. Dude. Dude. Wowzies, he jumped over the air. Bro. Bro. Three for ten from the floor. Oh! 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 Oh, oh shit! One dickhead. Nice fucking throw there, buddy. You think they should practice that shit? Fucking half court throws, full court throws. That shit wasn't even close. I feel like I could have fucking had a better shot than that. Three quarter court. He fucking hit the scoreboard. Anyways, one turn for the three. Got kicked in the head at a sleepover and ruptured my eardrum. Now I have to go to the, did not go to the doctor the next day. I had my first lucid dream. Team Adis for the sub. God of luck for the five. Brody for the thousand biddies. Watch the vibes every night. You inspired me uh, a lot of my life morals. Keep up the great man. Uh, keep, up, keep it up, man. Thank you. Keep up for the 10. Me versus Salty Unreal for highest all-time donator. Dub for the five. Uh, been watching on YouTube, uh, but made, uh, a Twitch and oh, I already read the, I already read that. Um, let's be honest, cross country on top, cross country sucks, dude. Okay. I, as a track and field fan, I can tell you right now, watching cross country is the most boring shit in the world. Watching the marathon is the most boring shit in the world. Okay. That's why when they run the marathon in the Olympics, they do updates, right? They don't even show the whole event. They'll go to something else and be like, hey, we're back. And and we're back, right? Because it's two hours, right? It's fucking 35 minutes of running in the woods. That's not fun to watch, right? That's not fun. It's insane to know that, like, the best fucking, even the worst Olympic marathon runner run, that's running 26 miles straight, one, their worst mile is faster than your best mile you could run all out, right? They're running 26 fucking four-minute miles in a row, and you can't even run a six-and-a-half-minute mile, right? And they've done that that many times in a row, unfazed. Brody for the sub, Logan for the three. Lo loyal for the four. Hate to be that guy you missed already. I, I did not see your other bit donos, Loyal. Uh, like, at all. Unless I already read them. Couldn't watch stream yesterday. No service. Wedding was hella nice, though. And if you could, what, mo what would you make a movie about? Dude, I've already shared my movie ideas with you guys, and then you shit on them, so I just no longer share my movie ideas with you guys. D-Player and Brody for the sub. And then what if one of you guys steals them? What if what if I have a movie producer in my chat right now? And then I tell you guys my fucking fire-ass movie ideas, and then you fucking and then you fucking shit on them, right? Or not shit on them, you fucking steal them. And then five years down the line, I see my fucking movie on the fucking big screen. Tell us? No. Elena for the three. I'll share one movie idea with you. Let me get you, let me get through these. 
How was your 420? It was good. Uh, floating for the three. Third of May is when the movie dropped. Have you watched BoJack Horseman? Oh, it's when the movie dropping. Uh, yeah, I used to watch BoJack Horseman. Husey for the sub. I hate the animation. Mr. Nico for the thousand hundred buddies. What about Dirk Bite Racing? That's all right. Brandella for the three hundred buddies. I'll give it to you as more variety. Ain't nobody talk about the world record pole vaulter. True, I guess. But you know what motherfuckers talk about? Usain Bolt. More people know Usain Bolt than LeBron James. And I stand by that. I stand by that. I think more people know Usain Bolt than Michael Jordan. I think that is a fucking... I would say that. I would, I would stand by that argument. That's not cap. You could say in the United States. I'm saying in the world. If you were to poll 8 billion people and you're going to every motherfucker in the world and they say, do you know Michael Jordan? Do you know Usain Bolt? They're going to say Usain Bolt 100% of the time. Everybody knows Usain Bolt. Fastest man in the world, right? LeBron James, a good, or Michael Jordan played for the Bulls in what? The 60s or the fucking 80s, whenever the fuck he played. Fed for the sub, Mr. Nico for the 70. Or 700 biddies. Watch a clip of dirt. I'm not watching dirt bike racing. Free for the sub. Chat, who would know? Do a poll on that. Who would who would be known? Who would who do you think is known more in the world? Michael Jordan or Usain Bolt? Michael Jordan has the shoes going for him, the Jordans, right? I would say a lot of countries don't know Mike, especially third world countries. Third world countries have no fucking idea who Michael Jordan is, but they know who Usain Bolt is. A hundred percent. Michael Jordan, yeah, known by the United States and Europe, right? You're going to like Moldova or like fucking random ass countries in the middle of nowhere, Mongolia. Hey, you heard of Michael Jordan? Who's that? Usain Bolt? Oh, the fast guy. Yeah. Moldova's in Europe. Your point? Your point? I said third world countries. Isn't Moldova a third world country? Is Moldova a third world country? The terms first, second, and third world are no longer in use as they were political and differentiating countries that supported the United States or Soviet Union. Oh. Moldova is the second poorest country in Europe poor countries, right, that can't buy Michael Jordan's shoes, right? Brandella for the three. So all you got is using Bolt men. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, you're arguing like I gotta pull fucking star players out of my fucking ass. Oh, for, like, fastest people? Kipchoge, right? The fastest marathon runner in the world. Loose for the sub. Fed in for the sub. Not that many people know him, though. Anyways. Look up for the follower account. Ain't nobody give a fuck about a follower account. Oh my god. LeBron James has more followers on Instagram. Who cares? I'm we gotta get into the videos for today. We're 30 minutes into stream. We're not, we haven't even started one. Ugh. Okay. Lock in. Brandello for the three. And loyal for the three. Boxing better is is better than track. Okay. If if you're be, if I'm being real, if I had to watch one sport for the rest of my life, it would be fucking MMA. I would watch people kick the shit out of each other. That's what I would watch. I would watch MMA fights. That would be it. Right. Brant for the sub because that shit's fucking dope. That's never that's never boring. Watching somebody fucking deck someone. Right. That goes back. Thousands of years. Glad he, when they would fucking, people would beat the shit out of each other for entertainment. Every parent's worst nightmare. Lock in. I didn't scan this video. I think we're good. Is it fair to say you kind of lost your temper a little bit during yeah, this? Yeah, but not intentionally, though. Sharky for the three. We need to lock in here. When I joined high school, I can't pick if I want to do track. Or color guard. I think I can't do both, so what should I do? Your choice. Not going to make your life decisions. Tell me what happened. Something about glass. He, he thought he saw blood. Something about glass. And then he saw blood. That's all he told me. I was doing this with him, and then I did this really hard. It's precise and deliberate. 
That doesn't happen randomly. What happened prior to that? I would not do nothing. That's where the injury is. The hospital had to do it. Oh, my. Okay. On October 21st, 2023, an investigator with the Florida Department of Children and Families alerted the Holly Hills Police Department near Daytona Beach, Florida, about a possible case of child abuse that they'd recently been made aware of. The case was so disturbing that it was almost difficult to believe and made their blood run cold. The incident had taken place four days earlier, and an investigation immediately got underway. Authorities had to determine if it was an unfortunate accident or an unfathomably cruel act. Some of the footage you're about to see has never been seen before. Should we do a double scan here? If this is in Florida and they're saying it's unfathomably cruel, like, dude, an average Florida story is like, man got butt naked and started stabbing people in a water park, right? Like, this is... It just seems like they're talking to him most of the time. This is... Okay, so he's cousin or brother to the child's mother, mm -hmm. and this is mm -hmm. the mother of the mother. So grandma. Yeah. That so, made no sense. So it happened at grandma's house. And grandma lived there too? Yes. Is there any other kids in there? No. Prior to leaving for work on Tuesday... Whenever somebody tries to explain to me the relation of somebody to themselves, I can never follow. Yeah, he's my brother's uncle's best friend's sister. What? <laughs> you, lo you lost me. He's my, brother's un he's my brother's uncle's best friend's brother. Like, that chain only makes sense to you, right? That's... <laughs> You you have lost me in every way whatsoever. Dude, even like, th yeah, twice removed. Oh, so I don't understand third cousins. I don't understand that. I had friends in high school that had the same last name, and they were third cousins. And they tried to explain it to me multiple times, and it never made sense to me. How are you related, I would say. And they would be like, oh, my grandma's aunt is like, the man, we're like, they're related. I'm like, dude, what? I don't even understand how third cousin works, right? I understand first cousins. First cousins is your parents' siblings' kids are your first cousins. I think your second cousins are your grandparents' siblings' kids. Kids. No? I don't know. What are second cousins? I gotta Google this. What are second cousins? They have the same great-grandparents as you. Think of it this way. Your mom's first cousin's child. <laughs> what? Your mom's, your mom's first cousin's child. Okay. So your mother's... Mother's sibling's kid... Had a kid. That's your second cousin. <laughs> I, it's already gone. It's already gone. It's out of my mind. It doesn't. There's too many line. There's too many trains that have moved. It doesn't make sense to me anymore. You're in the same generation, but you're not closely related. What are third cousins? Aren't third cousins allowed to get married in like most states? Third cousins are non-siblings that share great-great-grandparents. So they're barely related. They have one great-great-grandparent that is similar. What percentage? What are third cousins percent related? Like, barely, dude. Oh, here it is. Oh, my God. Yo, see, when they... See, this is the shit that I need. When they pop out, when they pop out some, some good, yo, like, give me the fucking family tree, you know? Common ancestor, great-grandparent, great-grandparent, grandparent, parent, your cousin. Third cousin, now. Yeah, like a flow chart type shit. That clip for the three. You started complaining about the watermark of the video. They do that to support multiple police foundations. I'm not, what, you, oh, you're saying before you start complaining. I'm not complaining about the watermark on the video. 
What? <laughs> Uh, they hire actually professionals to review and analyze the footage. So, before they've ever seen, he's not lying. He is the first person to have access to this outside of law enforcement. One turn for the three. Love you, man. Hey, um, hey, you missed my dono. I can't remember what I said. Can you scroll back? Just say what you said in the first dono. I got kicked in the head of this. I already read that. I didn't miss that. Fart for the sub, fill up for the three. I asked my grandma if she knows LeBron James. She said no. I asked Michael Jordan. She said, yeah, Usain Bolt, no. Dude, that's your fucking grandma. That's your fucking grandma. I'm not trying to diss your grandma here. Michael Jordan, right? Your grandma knows Michael Jordan because your grandma was uh, not a grandma when she when Michael Jordan was playing basketball, okay? Love for the sub. Elena for the three. Sharky for the three. Lock in. Tuesday, October 17th, the then 22-year-old Cheyenne Balos left her two-year-old son in the care of her cousin, 29-year-old Timothy Powell, as she'd done many times before. The grisly details of what transpired that night he were killed the kid. yet to be revealed. But during the course of the interview, an important piece of evidence came to light. A home surveillance system had been recording everything. Investigators knew that if there was anything incriminating on that footage, it would likely be erased soon. They moved quickly to to intercept Kimberly at her home and confront her about the footage. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how are you? Dude, homie walks like an NPC, swear to God. Hey, how are you? Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, how you doing? We're just trying to see, you know, heard somebody died today. You know, we're trying to see before you erase the footage. That's good to be known. All right, could you, could you hop out and talk to us for a moment? What's going? All right. What's your name? Are we interviewing the cab driver? You live here? Yeah. Is your name Timothy? No. No, he is. No, no. Oh, okay. So he's he's yeah. okay. Are you uh, Kimberly? Yeah. yeah. Okay, how you doing? I'm Detective Barrett with Holly Hill PD. Oh, this yeah. is my partner, uh, Jared Bianelli. Can we speak over here for a moment? I'm sure you're aware of the situation with the <coughs> grandchild. Went to the hospital the other day and everything like that. Uh -huh. Well, we're here to investigate because DCF had some issues with <laughs> the wound and everything. Are you, are you kind of apprised to what's going on? Yeah, because I, well, I wasn't here. I was My mom just came home from the hospital, and uh, I was at the hospital with her. I came home. He changed his diaper, and he called her and said, come get him. You want me to go get him? Yeah, in a second. Um, DCF, I guess they said that you'd given them some video. Is it Timothy, or how do you pronounce his name? Timothy. Timothy. Okay, with the with the child prior to him calling. Timothy. Um, is that accurate? You gave her the video. Mm -hmm. Okay. My camera says it went off, so I got paid a bill on it. Okay, but it was it was valid for that day, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like, so there should be a mm -hmm. whole day's worth from that day. Should be. Yeah, I'm okay. not American. What's the DCF? I don't even know. Is there any way that you? Can... Timothy. What's your name? Timothy. Oh, sir, can I call you Tim? No. No. Timothy. Give that to me real fast. Timothy sounds like a guy that would you couldn't refer to him by a shorthand. You know, like you couldn't be like, "Hey, Tim, Timmy." No, it's Timothy. You have to refer to him as Timothy. Yeah. While investigators searched through countless hours of surveillance footage, Timothy made an unexpected appearance. He begrudgingly spoke about that night. He walks out. Well, hello there. But was open. My name is Timothy Powell. About his relationship to Cheyenne and her baby boy. Yeah, if you can just give me the whole day's, day's worth, that would be awesome. Hey, how's it going, man? Good. Yeah, if we need anything, we can give you a call. Okay. Okay. Well, nice to meet you. Yeah, it's a pleasure. I'll give, uh, I'll leave a card here later on. Okay. Need to talk to you, though, Timothy. Are you willing to come and give me a statement about what happened the other night? Not at the moment. I have to make sure that you weren't trying to intentionally harm this kid because he was pissing you off. Okay. i got so many pictures of me and him together, him laughing, playing with me. I'm not saying so that you many. don't. I'm not saying that you don't care for the kid. The Cheyenne told him that I watch him on two days a week. Which that ain't More than two days a week? Oh, yeah. I watch him every day since I work. Do you know much about him? Not a lot, no. Is there anything about him that persuades you to believe it? Mother of the alleged, does. do you know anything about him? No, not much. Why are we leaving the child with him, then? Anything about him that persuades you to believe it? Dude, that's what, like, scares me about, like, did anybody here get, like, watched by babysitters and shit? Like, I had so many babysitters when I was a kid because I had, like, separated parents and everything, obviously. But, I mean, dude, like, that could go horribly wrong, right? You're just trusting, like, a random, usually teenager to, like, watch your child. <laughs> 
and make sure they don't die. Which seems like a fairly simple task. And in all honesty, it is. But people can really mess that up. <laughs> Just don't kill the kid. That he's capable of harming anybody or particularly with your child. No, I didn't think he would even have ever done it until I asked him the other day. The night. teen could just eat the kid. Okay, well, dude, the odds that the babysitter's a cannibal is pretty low, okay? If we're, you know, that's, I was voicing concerns in the sense of maybe they're just not fit to, you know, make sure a kid doesn't die, but you're saying they're, they're gonna, it's never not zero. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's never not zero. It could be another John Wayne Gacy or something like that where they, you know, they eat the kid or something. But, I mean, I, I, the odds of that happening are are fairly unlikely. I smiled when you told me. It made me really mad, so I had to leave. and have them back. When I was playing back the videos, it was being him. Like, the whole day that he was walking in that team stamp, he was on the play the whole time. And he was crying because he wanted to get out. And my cousin was like, well, bro, started squirting him with a spray bottle. I squirt my dog with a spray bottle before when she, like, when she was a puppy, and she used to like fucking do something bad. You just squirt her in the butt, <laughs> Spray spraying an actual human like they're a dog. While squirting a small child with water may not be illegal. It certainly raised red flags for investigators. It didn't save on your mom's phone but we have it what do you mean ao chat you ain't ever when you in the butt yeah because spraying your dog in the face would be fucked right dogs don't my dog doesn't like getting sprayed with water and so when she was like eight months old and she was like learning everything and she would be like a fucking asshole and like bite or rip up like the floor you'd spray them in the ass with a squirt bottle right Rather than like beating your dog, which is what some people do. Through her blink account, it yeah. shows you kind of getting frustrated with the kid all day. He was turning and kicking. And so it I feel like that's a normal way to train your dog. I don't know why people are like acting like that's the most obscene thing they've ever seen. Everything cool yeah, she like would get. Threatening to watch Casual L Joe. I bet your dog eats your couch. I bet your dog eats your couch. Right. That's I. For the person that says, oh, that's, like, fucked up. I bet your dog's... I bet you just have, like, holes in your wall. Or some shit. From your dog just eating that shit, right? My dog used to eat my Christmas tree. It, it, being straight up. <laughs> that's, that's when we that's when we developed the, the squirt bottle method at the, the Joe Bart household, right? When my dog would eat my Christmas tree. Mouth out and squirt them with the with the bottle. Nothing wrong with that. It's water. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. It's water. What about the soap? So the when someone cusses, that's how I was raising you. Cuss, you wash your mouth out. I understand soap. that. That's know, not child. That ain't child that, abuse. Like y'all, like y'all assume it. But it's not your child, is what I'm saying. He's under my watch. So and that doesn't matter. He, he's under my watch, and she knows she that, knew about it. She never said says. I couldn't do it. That's not what the law says, though. Investigators are beginning to understand the kind of person they're dealing with. It's time to take a look at what started all of this. So the incident happened while she was at work. She got a call from the cousin. He called her saying what was happening over the regular phone. And she's like, no, FaceTime and show me. That's when she saw how much blood was there. So she rushed home and had to take him, she took him straight to the hospital. In her interview with the detectives, Cheyenne informed them that Timothy called her while she was at work on Facebook first and then FaceTimed her. When she saw how terribly her child was bleeding, she left work and rushed him to the hospital immediately. He told me what happened. What did he say happened? He said he was wiping him with a diaper wipe mm -hmm. and it's something about glass. He, he thought he saw something about glass and then he saw blood. That's all he told me. Glass? With the... That's what Holy he told... shit. Dude, if you, if you guys were parents and your kid acted up, what are you doing to get them to not do it again? I would just take their stuff. I feel like that's the best parenting method. Is like just, I mean, that's like late game though. That not late game, but like when they're like four, they don't really have that many possessions. But you would just take their stuff, like their Xbox, or yeah, like obviously sit in the corner and stuff. Flick their arm, the whip. 
beat the shit out of them. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. A hundred push-ups. You're going to make, like, a five-year-old do a hundred push-ups? I would just, like, take their stuff. I've had two kids that uh, they have their – take their phones consoles. Oh, they have their phones consoles taken. Yeah, I feel like that makes sense. I, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I feel like hitting your kid is not a good way to – I mean, I've never raised a child because I'm 22, but – I would say that, you know, hitting your kid is not a good way to get them to not do something. Yeah, they might not do it, but they're not going to they're going to not do it out of fear. Or like they're not going to do it because it's not like, oh, I'm recognizing that this is wrong. It's like, hey, if I do this, my mom's going to beat me. Right. I just feel like the yes, both result in them not doing the specific activity, but I think one is is worse. Told out the kid get out of the crib or something. And he, I know he said he broke one of my globes like what a couple of days ago, three four days ago. Yeah, I guess that's what uh, Cheyenne was saying that there's possibly a. But he got like a snow globe full of roses or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I got like he bought me one like every time they came out. So okay, I went in there to play with them. Just right? give your kid a swirly. Oh my god. Yo, your kid acts up, you just fucking hold him by his ankles. You just dunk his head in the toilet. No, nah, that would be child abuse. <laughs> that would have to be. I'm, I'm, I I'm. would never do that. I would never do that. But that would be fucking, that would be nuts, dude. Your kid, your kid like fucking breaks a window or something. You're like, you have to give him a sorely. Holy shit. And I smelled poop. Yeah, to make it go out. And when I was wiping him, so yeah, all right here so i was cleaning it and when i was cleaning it up here on in the diaper wipe i felt something a little bit hard after i did it mm -hmm. and when i took it out it was itty piece, any itty bitty piece of glass okay. and that's when i freaked out and went and called cheyenne i didn't tell her at the time because i figured she was gonna beat the f out of me because where's the glass i got thrown away that night along with the diaper don't say where i mean where was the glass it was mixing the shit. Based on the hospital, based on CPT, um, it says that the cousin said that he had found a glass in the diaper and just kept- How did glass get in the diaper? Wiping, but with the injuries that are on the child, that story does not add up. But you know, I mean, you're starting to see how this is looking though, yeah, right? Yeah, I know. Y'all gonna blame me because I'm a well, guy. No. That's all it is. That I guy is too precise and you're the only one with him and that video shows you with him yeah, right Yeah, it shows me changing his diaper. There is footage due to the fact that there's cameras around. So in the video, you can see something's deleted because at the beginning, you can see him changing, changing, whatever. And then you can see something in his hand and he walks away, baby screaming. Then all, then it cuts out. Then it goes straight to him picking up the child and walking out. And that's the cousin, right? That's the cousin. Okay. I was changing his diaper. Okay. So what happened prior to that? I was not doing nothing. The Where I'm going to is that apparently you think it's okay to squirt him with the, with the water, which is what it is. You think it's okay to wash it's his so mouth out with soap. I don't put a lot. I only put a How guy. is it that we're not oh supposed God. to believe that you may have? Well, y'all not gonna believe me because I'm a guy. That's how. That's well, how I'm not gonna. Work. I'm not gonna believe a lie when I see one. So I just want you to be a truth. Now, if you got frustrated or something or something else happened, that's fine. But what I'm telling you is that people who do this for a living, who are specifically trained to identify mm -hmm. wounds like that, listen to me talk because yeah. you've been very abrasive this whole time. Yeah, I've been trying to be God. professional. Okay, I'll okay? listen to you. Okay, people that understand those things. Forensically, you can look at a, a cut like that and say that is not indicative with these circumstances, like a random piece of glass being in there. Okay. Dude, that's crazy that there's people that can do that, especially with, like, car. Like, I always find it fascinating with car crashes where, say, you, like, hit somebody in the middle of nowhere and no one saw it. They literally, like, pull someone up and, like, say somebody died, right? Like, you hit somebody 70 miles an hour and nobody was on the road. You killed them. They're not just going to take your word for it. They're going to have somebody go to the scene and, like, analyze how, like, based on skid marks and where the cars were. They can literally just go, yeah, no, you flipped here and they landed, like, without even seeing it. They only see the aftermath. They could just know everything. Okay. It's precise. Can you pause? I need a poop. Dog, take your phone to the fucking bathroom. Half the people in my chat are taking a shit right now. It doesn't matter. Okay, man. Literally half the people in my chat are, there's probably somebody in my chat that is going through it on the toilet right now. Like, absolutely breathing in fucking pain, just shitting out, like, Taco Bell. Or, like, just fucking, 
like just praying that they get through this fucking shit. Okay, that's me right now. And deliberate. That doesn't happen randomly. That doesn't happen from a piece of glass. At least not like that. There was glass in the floor. My grandpa was trying to put you glass. I found what you glass. There was glass on the, the floor, but he's yeah. in a playpen. And, and How did you know? Yeah, that's where everybody starts freaking out. Is my camera on? The playpen. How did he get into the playpen? I don't know. A few days ago. But he's covers. Right? About, like a week ago, cover. about, about a week ago, he dropped the book. He hit a glove down on the floor. You think it's October? I bet the, I bet it's like I bet it's like fucking June, dude. I think they got their Halloween decorate. I think this is a family that got their Halloween decorations up all year round. We had a bunch of gloves with the flowers in them. And yeah. I don't know if we got out of the glass or not, but we found I found two pieces of glass in his playpen. But again, that's just like the and glass is Cheyenne. How did the glass get there? Um, he said that they found she found toys and found things in his diaper. And he always she told me the complete opposite. I'm not trying to. I literally just spoke with him. She said it was the complete opposite of that. She, he doesn't put stuff like toys or cars or anything in his diaper, she which is why I told you, like, that's not indicative with his behavior. And she took him to, like, the forensic people. Like, I'm telling I you, know, they interviewed this, him and all that, and that's, like, not the behavior that he is I know, she went supposed to, to portray. So. The CPS doctor, I know. Yeah, the CPT, CPS, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, that, it's a it's a lack, though. It's not a tear. I know. You know what I mean? So you're saying you're pulling and, and wiping... Yeah, Maybe could have caused an abrasion or a laceration, but how the hell would it go all the way around? That almost all not, the way around. That I do not know. Where they had to almost kind of glue his, his private back on uh, there. No! Wait, they like he like cut his oh my god, it's like his like fucking private parts almost fell off. But um she was telling it. So what what would I thought he, like, cut him. Dude, I thought he was just, like, fucking, like, rubbing glass on his back or some shit to, like, just cut him and make him feel pain. He almost cut his cock off. Oh. To make you pull on. Oh, dude. That's so hard that that would happen. I, or I wipe so hard. You know how bad that would fucking hurt? That that would happen. The stuff is crusted on there. So, you see, that's where the injury is. And the hospital had to do it. Oh, my. Okay. So you're thinking that she shows the cop the image. See, here's the injury. <clears throat> just fucking immediately starts. Like, imagine a cop being. There's probably cops out there that like can't see gore and get like really queasy. That's from pulling and white. They just like immediately vomit. Too hard. Yeah. Like they, they like any scene that involves blood. Okay. And mixed with that little piece of glass that I found inside the um. The They're trained not to. Yeah, but uh, cops in the United States don't go through a very rigorous training process comparable to other countries' police officers in terms of training hours and stuff. So, I mean, you know, cops get through the cracks on the uh, the queasy end of stuff. What? what I'm saying, like, take take glass out of the equation, okay. dude. That laceration is too clean for glass. Okay. What I'm saying, like, a rough edge piece of glass is gonna is gonna be ragged. This thing was clean across, almost like someone was like trying to cut his dick off. I mean, I'm not saying that's what happened, but it has that, that outline. You know what I mean? Because it's perfectly around. I mean, it's, it's circular. By this time, investigators had been made fully aware of what Timothys is suspected of doing. There was no glass in the diaper. Is it fair to say, I mean, he, was, he, was, he frustrated the hell out of you. So when you're if, if yeah, rubbing he was, yeah, cutting somebody's dick off, dude. Holy shit. Like the you got mad at the kid, so you cut his cock off. Oh, yeah, he was kicking, screaming, you know, swinging at me. I mean, yeah, I used one arm to hold him down, try to do it, and I was doing this with him, try, and then I did this really hard, trying to, you know, trying to get while I was trying to hold him down. Yes, okay. but I wasn't trying to, you know, be rough. I was trying to change his diaper because he had a blowout. But okay. when I was doing it, he was kicking. Is it fair to say you kind of lost your temper a little bit during? Yeah, this. but not intentionally though. Well, I'm not like, saying that you intentionally, like, but was, you lost your temper. Not to hurt him intentionally. That's what you're trying to say. Trying well, to hurt the kids hurt. Okay, I'm happy that we're talking. And I, and I, I, I want to believe out. you. I do. I want to believe. And I was freaking you. out when it happened. So you're saying that it happened when you were cleaning off the crusty stuff. You pulled too hard. You started scrubbing too hard. Probably out of frustration. Yeah, but you weren't trying to hurt him. Yeah. Okay. Is that probably, what I'm getting here? Yeah, I was probably rubbing okay. too hard. But I feel like you would see the blood, right? Like you would immediately start bleeding if you got cut that bad that they had to like glue his privates back on i wasn't realizing i was trying to hold him down i was being too rough with him did you cut shit. this kid at all did you no. use an instrument to try to cut this kid no sir did he did he piss you off so bad that you're trying to cut his off no sir are you sure yes 
Bob. Okay, because I want to believe you. I'm not out here calling everybody liars and, and criminals. I, I get do. I get people get frustrated. We everybody gets frustrated, oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Especially with kids. If you're dealing with them day in and day out, I understand. Okay. But no, I did not try to intentionally hurt that kid. I really did not try to. And you didn't use anything else but the wipes. No, sir. You didn't take a knife or anything like that. No, so I don't that, even own a pocket knife. All the other knives, all the knives in the kitchen. So when I go through that video a little more in depth, I'm not going to see you using any kind of instrument outside, just wipe them. Yes, sir. Well, the video's about to end. What's about to happen? Timothy's Powell was arrested and charged with aggravated wow. child abuse nine days after this interview. Oh, On October 30th, 2023, Timothy's Powell has pled not guilty and is currently awaiting trial at the... Just because you're related to somebody doesn't automatically make them a good babysitter. I don't own a pocket knife, sir. Nobody mentioned a pocket knife. Yeah, that's true. Soaping a two-year-old's mouth, what the hell could a two-year-old say to deserve that? Yeah, that, I would say, like, soaping, so, the idea of, like, soaping somebody's mouth is, like, I know people use that to raise their kids, but, like, a two-year-old, can two-year-olds even talk? Probably, like, very rudimentary, right? Like, just, like, base, they're not going to be, like, telling you stories. They're going to be like, hey, I need food, <laughs> right? Leo for the sub corrupted for the three. I saw a video of a cop crying and vomiting after the Uvalde school. Sh okay, well that's a fucking that's a different scenario. Um, from the pain and sadness. Stop for the three. Have you ever seen Smiley Friends? Yeah, back for the three. It's a great show. Instead of this is my hero, I'm gonna repeat his actions. Leo for the sub. Stop. Don't even joke about that. J Dog for the three. Used to be friends with TQD from TikTok Riz Party. Don't know either of those things. I don't know what the TikTok Riz Party is, and I don't know who TQD is. We are neighbors, haven't spoken in a while. Do you think it would look like cloud chasing if I try to be friends with him again? I don't know. Toad, for the tier two sub. What's up, Toad? Can you stop showing videos of me? It's really not cool. That was not you, Toad. That didn't even look like you. Joe Bart for the sub. Phantom for the sub. Floating for the three. My dad used to beat me. Newsflash, it didn't work. Gave me PTSD. Slice for the sub. I'm sorry to hear that. Maya for the sub. Allie for the three. Been having a hard time. Your streams really helped me. I think you missed my bets earlier. T and it's cycling. Love for the sub. Uh, not for the three. Hit three hundred one on the bench. Dub Villa and love for the sub. Uh, the cliff for the three. Um, floating. I'm sorry you have to go through that, dude. What the fuck? Hold up. Saying I missed Allie's bets. I don't see your bets. You said you missed my bets from yesterday. Oh, just got back from track. High jump is killing me. It's so hard. How did you? Uh, how did you do it? Uh, it is a pain in the ass, especially when you have, you ever miss the mat. Missing the mat on fucking high jump is ass. When you fuck up your jump so bad that you, like, face plant on the ground. Colin for the sub dot for the three. All right. Lock in, chat. Next video. I tested celebrity-owned restaurants. Jack Pembroke video. W. Jack Pembroke. What is the React lineup? We have I tested celebrity-owned restaurants. World's most expensive blunt. Hulk the Giant, pa Giant Dog, Nine Most Painful Things, Death of Children's Vegas Icon, JoJo Siwa, YouTuber Goes Into Debt, Tragic Story of Counterfeit Vapes. Lock in. Colin from Set. Every celebrity tries to open a restaurant. Drake opened- That burger looks fucking horrible. Okay, let's take our guesses here. What famous person's restaurant has that burger? I want to say Guy Fieri, but I feel like he wouldn't have quality. I think I don't think he would have food quality that's that bad. I think he'd had overpriced like mid food. That looks like a fucking fast food McDonald's burger that they threw together at like two a.m. Drake, Shaq. Do you think that's the Mr. Beast burger? But he's at a restaurant. Mr. Beast doesn't have like an in-person restaurant. Death you. You think I own a fucking restaurant? Drake opened a restaurant, but it... Drake opened a restaurant? Was quickly shut down because he forgot to pay the rent. Bruh. Really, dude? He's literally rich. Oh, come on. Man. But it's not just Drake. Tons of other celebrities have opened restaurants, so I found the most interesting ones to visit. Are these restaurants actually good? or just a straight up scam. Well, I'm on a journey to find out with the ultimate goal of discovering which celebrity restaurant is the best. So I booked a ticket across the country and it all begins in Miami. Miami. I think he's actually going to like famous people that aren't in the food industry world, which is cool too. I was expecting this to be like Guy Fieri, Gordon Ramsay, and just like every other 
famous chef. Like, what's that one woman that's on, like, daytime TV and she always does, like, the fucking cooking tutorials? Oh, God, she's so annoying. Semi for the sub, Sharky for the three. You didn't finish my last donor. I wrote more. I said cross country on horseback is just better. Cross country on horseback? Who the fuck watches that? Colin for the sub. Martha Stewart? Not Martha Stewart. Rachel Ray. I fucking hate Rachel Ray. Oh, she's so annoying. Any, I, in all honesty, I just hate anybody that's on daytime TV. Kelly Clarkson, um, the fucking morning show with the, the one guy with the spiky haircut and the blonde woman. And she has a new fucking co-host every fucking week because they just leave her or some shit. Who is that woman? She seems like she would fucking kill someone. Just all of them, dude. Like, and it's so boring. Kelly Clarkson is, like, the show I see the most because it, like, replaced Ellen. And Ellen was already fucking annoying. But, like, Kelly Clarkson will interview, like, the most boring, famous person and talk to them about, like, their hobbies. And there are people in the audience that are, like, attentively watching and laughing to that. Who the fuck cares what the side actor in the fucking movie The Barbarian's favorite thing to do on Christmas Eve is. Like, that's not... I, I, I don't give a shit, right? Okay, wow, you open fucking gifts with your family and drink hot chocolate by the fire. Like, well, that's so fucking entertaining, man. I'd love to hear more about that. Lunar Rent for the sub. People that watch that shit are NPCs. Swear to God. Steve-O, interview Steve-O. I thought you were going to bring up Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey's show was god-awful, too. When he used to have his own daytime TV and he did Harvey's Hundreds. And it was literally just the childhood game memory. But he would give you a $100 bill for everyone you got right. And I was like, dude, this doesn't even cover the flight cost if you actually flew out to fucking see this show. Phantom for the thousand, but he's watching YouTube uh, for two years now. This is the first time I come to the stream. Dub, welcome. Semi for the sub shark over the three. Hopefully that was cool. It was great meeting you guys. I have an Uber set to pick us up in like five minutes to take us to our first celebrity restaurant. All right, I'll see you guys there. Oh, I see. Steve Harvey sold out. He's not funny anymore. He's just a meme. Dude, he's always been a meme. <laughs> we made it. Oh my gosh, dude. Words cannot explain my excitement. The licking, steak wings, music lobster, and rice and seafood what famous person owns the licking the rock no somebody with fucking pool in miami or like a beach town the weekend it is the rock we are at a restaurant called the licking and it is owned by the man the myth the legend dj Khaled. And dj Khaled. Not the one. Every time I go on TikTok, I'm like force fed DJ Khaled content. And honestly, <laughs> I love it. I don't even really know what <laughs> this guy's job is, but he has a song with Justin Bieber. Absolutely slaps. Before I go inside, I want to read some of these reviews that I found online. Odalay's M says, why does DJ Khaled even promote this place? And I got the driest wings ever with stale fries. The only good thing about this place was the mystery drink, but not worth another visit. Quincy M says, apparently the quote Shrimp Gang had bought time at the restaurant for a film. The film happened to be one of the female staff jumping over the counter and sucking caramel sauce off one of the shrimp members toes. And just in case you thought that that's not real, there's actually a photo attack. And I don't even know if I can show this on YouTube. Um, so it's probably gonna be blurred. Yo, what? oh my God, is that Supreme Patty? I bought one of his chains when I was like 10 and I got scammed. I got absolutely fucking scammed. I bought one of his fucking boo fake chains to like, it was swipe up to get iced up and I swiped up to get iced up. And I bought a fucking, this like diamond studded cross that was just fake as shit and it made my neck green. So while well, yes, I'm mildly concerned. And it was free, but it was like $15 in shipping. I'm still excited. Let's, let's go in. When walking in, I was greeted- Dude, I remember buying it. With this super welcoming sign. And once we were inside, we were escorted by security to a table. The vibe is super- oh, The vibe is horrible. Booths in the middle?
That's just a fucking weird setup. I would, if I'm at a booth seat, I want to be, I want to be fucking on the edge. A booth middle seat just seems so fun weird in here. To me. And there's even open, DJ Khaled decorations too. on the walls as well as when you open the menu. The inside was, for the most part, pretty clean, which reminds me, we'll be judging each restaurant with four categories: interior, customer service, taste, and price. And so far, Mr. Khaled is looking good. We're just gonna order what DJ Khaled likes: lemon pepper chicken wings, French fries. I'm gonna do the red velvet cake, the mystery drink. Thank you. She's awesome. Great customer service. This place is getting good scores right now, so we'll see if the food lives up to the hype. One thing to look out for here is the potentially deafening music that they have blasting here. <laughs> it's like you're sitting in your friend's car, fucking blasting the music, dude. You're literally just eating at a restaurant. In just a few minutes, my- Oh, God, Cardi B just on the fucking mic, just rapping, dude. While I'm just eating my chicken wings, trying to sit in peace. Mystery drink arrived. Is this a Fortnite potion? <laughs> I'm not sure. What I am sure of is this thing was delicious. It's basically like a really sweet tropical Gatorade or something. I gotta be honest, it took them a while to get out our food, but after 20 minutes, it arrived. The food looks good. The chicken. That shit looks fucking. Oh. I hate when they leave that part on, bro. It annoys yo. I I don't like that. Right when they leave that little fucking that that shitter piece on, and it's like the fuck. It's like the weird angle. It's like they're bird flappers. Chicken wings are like almost all bone. I'm gonna be very fair with my ratings here, by the way, and I'm gonna be honest. Okay, I'm gonna try the French fries. Well seasoned, crispy. Delicious. Now I'm gonna try the mac and cheese. This looks super good, by the way. That's incredible. I'm gonna go ahead and try the chicken now. They look interesting. <laughs> it's not bad. Like the flavor could be a lot better. The chicken is not dry though. It's all right, it's fine. We finished up the food and overall, it's pretty comparable to the type of food you could find at your local sports bar. But I'm excited to try their red velvet cake, which DJ Khaled claims is a problem. I love the red velvet. Isn't red velvet though, like a fake flavor and it's just, like red velvet is literally just like vanilla or something like that. Like it's just food dye. It, there's no, there isn't actually a red velvet flavor. It's just fucking dyed with red 40. Velvet cake, red velvet cake. Yeah, it's dyed chocolate. I'll be the judge of that. So there's more hype for this cake. That than looks like white chocolate. GTA 6. It's just red velvet cake. We paid our bill and decided that the food was good. But not great. Our bill came out to forty-seven dollars. Forty-seven dollars is. I, I need to see the fucking prices here. Twenty bucks for like what was that? Eight wings. Oh no, it was the chicken wing dinner because you get the mac and cheese, candied yams with it. That's pretty fire. Seven dollars for the drink. I mean, that's not bad. Like, I wouldn't say that's overpriced out the shit, but it's definitely not great. $47.84, which to be honest is kind of a ripoff. I would say that's probably worth like 30 bucks. DJ Khaled, I think did pretty good, but I don't think he's gonna be able to stack up against the next celebrity's restaurant, which looks insane. I'm gonna go enjoy Miami, and then we have like the craziest reservation ever. For the next few hours, we rented city bikes, and I gotta say, Miami is crazy. Thank you guys for allowing me to do cool stuff like this. It is truly a pleasure. I changed into my best collared shirt before leaving to our next restaurant because this next one is a fancy one. And oh boy, am I excited. Also, worried. Bro said he's pulling up to a fancy restaurant wearing the off-brand pit vipes, getting ready to fucking lock in here. Uh, how are you doing today, sir? Thanks. That's definitely Shaq. Worried because by the time we decide which restaurant is the best, I'm... That's 100% Shaq. That's, that's no one else but Shaq. Might just be broke. Anyways, we're in for a night of pure epicness. And it all starts here. At... He was like eight feet tall. He had hands the size of fucking footballs. Echo, this restaurant is owned by Bad Bunny. If you don't know who he is, he's one of the biggest artists in the world. Right up there with like Drake and Taylor Swift. And speaking of... I feel like nobody ever talks about him though, right? Like, I know he's big and he got a lot of fucking like songs that are popular, but no, I never hear somebody yapping about fucking Bad Bunny. 
I'll hear people talk about Taylor Swift and Drake every fucking day. Like every two hours, somebody's talking about those two. Celebrities. For the weekend. Like the weekend's one of the biggest artists in the world, if not the biggest artist in the world. But I don't, I don't ever hear somebody talk about, oh, did you hear the new weekend song? Did you hear the new weekend song, man? That shit was fucking lit. No. I love the weekend. You like NPC music. And I'm not dissing you, right? But it's that shit that comes on the radio. Like this. It's NPC music. It's like there, but it's like... It's where... Whenever you walk into a store, that's what you hear in the background. Is the weekend, right? If I'm at the gym and whatever they're playing, I'm usually listening to music in my earbuds, but, like, they're playing The weekend on the radio. They're playing it in the gyms, in a mall. Like, Seems that's like playing in the background. Every celebrity has gone here. We're talking Leonardo DiCaprio, Kim Kardashian, and even our boy, DJ Khaled. I looked at the menu, and uh, a steak here can go up to $1,200. $1,200? Look, I'm no genius, but to me that sounds like kind of a scam. You know what? I'm going to put that to the test and uh, see if it is. Let's go. The most expensive steak I ever ate was 200 and it was Japanese A5 Wagyu, and it was a filet. And it was good. It was not worth $200. I would honestly say that a fucking Texas Roadhouse filet is... Maybe 30% worse than, like, a $150 steak. Like, I've been to good restaurants where I've eaten a $100 steak, and it's as good as, like, a $30, you know, just a really good seasoned filet. They really – that's what the difference is, though. Like, if you're at, like, Texas Roadhouse, the Outback, Longhorn Steakhouse, any of those, you know, just well-known chain restaurants, you're going to be getting very well-seasoned tender steaks, but they're not high-quality meat comparably, they're not really going to season your steak at all at a fucking high-quality restaurant, at least the ones that I've been to. They're just going to cook that shit and serve it to you, maybe with some sort of, like, sauce on the side that you could use, but, or, like, an au jus or something like that, but drain my that's all you're really going to get. It's so as I'm walking in, I'm greeted by a nice lady who helped me find my reservation. I guarantee you the $1,200 steak probably is wrapped in gold. She let me through, and then I walked on a literal red carpet. That was probably- Bro, wow, you really let me in. I could just walk around the side. The fuck? This is literally just for fucking power-tripping rich people, dude. To feel better, dude. Oh my god, you gotta let me in? You gotta open up the red carpet? Bitch, I could just walk over that. On a literal red carpet. That was probably the closest I'll ever be to becoming a celebrity. A woman inside took me to my table, and on first glance, this- Yo, it bothers me that every fancy-ass rich place is always dark as fuck. It's like, I know they got the mood lighting, but I can't even see my food. Like, you can tell that they had to pitch this up. It's probably fucking so dark in here. Coming a celebrity. A woman inside took me to my table, and on first glance, this restaurant is beautiful. It had a super cool Japanese vibe, but... Uh, oh, that's dope. Nothing really related to Bad Bunny. Overall, though, the interior is sick. I think we want to do the A5 Hot Stone. That's the one that gets set on fire, right? Yes, it is. To get the full experience, we ordered all of their most popular items, which were- <laughs> that's going to be like $3,000. No shot he fucking spent the bitch. I wouldn't go to this restaurant if I was filming this video, Jack. Holy shit. No way. I, I, I dead ass thought he was just going to get like a filet. No fucking shot he's about to order, like, all the expensive shit. We're cheap. Do you have, like, a like a sushi roll with, like, gold on top? But maybe the taste will make up for it. <laughs> I, I sure hope so. Man. How much did this video... Uh, 1.5 mil. Okay. He probably made the money back. Holy shamoli. It looks insane. <laughs> this sushi roll had A5 Wagyu on top, which is pretty much the most expensive steak you can buy. And on top of that fried bananas. I don't know. I'm just going to trust it. Okay, here we go. This is the most expensive sushi I've ever had right here. Just absolutely dunks it in soy sauce. 
I feel like it ruins it sometimes when people get really expensive fucking fish and then they just absolutely drown it in soy sauce. Just eat like a, it's like eating salty rice. It's really good, but it's not the best sushi I've ever had. Like, don't get me wrong, this is incredibly good. Um, yeah, I really can't justify the price on this one. You can't really taste the Wagyu and it kind of just tastes like mayonnaise. However, I am off to- It kind of just tastes like mayonnaise. Yo, that roll was probably 50 bucks. Mystic about the next item. We just finished our food and two seconds later, the entire table is wiped clean. I love that. All what right. is that? Oh, <laughs> thank you, man. This is like the coolest steak I've ever seen. Nah, that would piss me off though. That would piss me off though. Like it's not enough food. Every fucking fancy ass restaurant that got these hot rocks or some shit, you're like, you're like, man, I'm hungry as fuck. Let me get that fucking, yeah, let me get that fucking A5 Wagyu. Let me get that, let me get that New York strip. That's like five ounces of steak. I would kill, I think I could fucking eat all of that in three bites. Okay. You ready? This is the A5 Wagyu. This steak was $120. Here we go. Oh. Oh, three, two, one. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but it looked like he was struggling to eat it. <laughs> Yo, and that was that face you make when you're when you're at like a fucking family's house or like you're meeting somebody for the first time and you're eating their food and you're like, mm, this is good. It fucking sucks ass. <laughs> Just closing your eyes trying to get through it. I'll be honest with you. That's not steak. That has excelled beyond steak. That okay, is, he liked it. I like, thought he was gonna say that shit was trash. Dude, I can't even explain that. What I'm trying to- It's just fat, man. The, the only- the time that I ate the most expensive steak I ever had too, I fucking threw up that night. It's too much fat. It's- it's like a fat lot. If you compare like regular- hold up. Literally let me fucking A5 Wagyu to regular steak. When you look at them, they're just so, oh God, man. It's just so much fat. Like this is an A5 Wagyu stick. Look how much, like all that white shit is just fat. And I know it, yeah, it melts down, but it's, ugh. It tastes good, but it, you feel like shit after. Hearts, or at least I did. Hearts, Jake, and PJ for the sub relish for the three. But watch this, this is The Walking Dead. You help me and everybody else. Your streams mean more than, uh, more means so much more than you could ever imagine. I always love watching your vods after a hard day, and you uh and you always help. Thank you for being uh who you are. Thank you. Floating for the three. Brooke got me into Taylor Swift. Now I'm a D rider. Has she showed you the new album yet? Yeah, she showed me a few songs. Sun and Cultist for the sub. Ethan for the three. Every month I ask you when I can get VIP, and you say I'm not VIPing people right now. I'm wondering how long until you'll consider it. Uh, if you keep asking me, never. But uh, Michael for the sub. Maybe eventually, right? But when people ask me for VIP, I immediately just go, I'm not going to VIP you. You know? Lanarin for the sub. Colin for the four. You've helped me a lot. Uh, love what you do, man. Keep it up. Phantom for the thousand biddies. Already read that. What I'm going to say here is that this steak was like butter. By the time you chew four times, the steak disintegrates. I literally didn't know. I feel like I see new VIPs every time I'm here. I don't even know who you are, bro. I swear to God, who is this? Who is Hobbit Butcher? Like, mother, my VIPs change their username so much that it just seems like I have new, IV, new VIPs all the time. This motherfucker's been in my chat for three years. Who are you? You changed your name again. You've given bits. You fuck, you've given bits. You're fucking one and a half of your sub. That, who is that? Who is Hobbit Butcher? It's three inch? That is not three inch. Lil Cobra? I don't think that's Lil Cobra. 
It was possible to have such a rich and deep flavor from steak. That's and manifest. I can say with 100% certainty that this is the best. I don't know. What's, what, my mods will change their names too. And then I just fucking, I'm like, dude, when did I mod this motherfucker? Best steak I've ever had. <laughs> that is so good. Before dessert, we decided to try their fried snapper, which is basically fried Whoa. fish. Holy Slay. mackerel. Wow. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> that looks gross to me. I would not want to eat that. I think this is the best fried fish I've ever had. But also, I haven't had any gourmet. Like they wrapped that bitch in a dead fried fish. fish before. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much better fried fish can get. Both the dipping sauces were crazy good. And all around, another banger item. And finally, last but not least, dessert. Lisa, love cake. So this is apparently the best dessert they have. Oh, it's so soft. Bro, that's so good. I think that's the best thing we've had yet. This cake was legitimately- Nah, that's making me mad hungry, bro. Oh my God. Incredible. I mean, I sure hope so because our bill ended up coming out- Yo, you all right? Yo, I'm fucking tweaking here watching this. That fucking sushi roll was $39. That is so ass. 71 for the crispy snapper. I could understand more than the roll. To 300 actually no the roll is actually more reasonably priced 120 dollars yes it was delicious but guys i, I thought it'd be way more than that not justify that price so we hopped on a long flight to get to the next celebrity restaurants of course we were late to our flight so we sprinted through the airport and barely made it but then i was met with two options watch 10 episodes of kings of barbecue or fall asleep and eventually we landed in california and now we're at, yeah, there you go, you ready? Big Chicken. <laughs> the Big Chicken. The name of this place to me makes perfect sense because this restaurant is owned by a man that's seven feet tall and his name is Shaquille O'Neal. I found this photo on the website of him. I feel like Shaq just does side quests. I don't even think that he has like a regular job anymore. I think it, isn't he like a DJ? I saw he was performing in AC one uh, one day. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> He's a DJ. He owns restaurants. He used to be an NBA player. He's obviously a commentator now still. He was in the WWE. When? I'm holding a chicken sandwich. I can't tell if the chicken sandwich is uh, just absurdly small or if Shaq is just that massive. Bruh. Uh, Shaq <laughs> claims these sandwiches are M-D-E, which to Shaq means most delicious ever. Shaq, that's kind of a big claim, but I'm going to see what the customers think about this place. Julian O says, don't let Shaq's big happy smile fool you. The chicken tenders were dry and the breading didn't stand out. Probably won't be coming back. My girl Kathleen says, we got the Uncle Jerome chicken sandwich. Yo, it's always like, bro, it's always like a Kathleen or a Mark or some shit that's commented on this. Who the fuck actually review? Have you guys ever reviewed a fucking food place? I never in my life, good or bad, have I ever been like, yeah, let me go leave a review on Yelp about my experience at this restaurant. You know what's fucked up, though, is I'll read reviews on restaurants if I've never been there and I'm like, I want to actually, like, try it out. So I'll see what people will say. But you got to realize that, say the restaurant's rated, like, a three-star on Yelp, it's probably better. Because you're way more likely to leave a shit review than a good review. Which, which is ranked the spiciest on the menu... Yet it wasn't like if all the reviews are one star, that's, you know, that's telling. But if they have like fucking 10 one stars and then like five, four stars, I, it's probably a pretty good restaurant. I see it all. And just when you thought people didn't like this place, William B posted this epic photo. Um, I want whatever he got because that guy looks like a happy camper. With all of that being said, let's go see what Shaq has in store for us. <laughs> So I'm entering the restaurant and- What's your Chipotle order? Bro, I ordered Chipotle last night and that shit didn't come for two hours. I was baked as shit watching the Fallout show. Hungry as a motherfucker. And I ordered that shit at like 7. It showed up at like 9.30, dude. Like 9.30. And I remember I went to support. I was that dickhead. I contacted support. I was like, where the fuck's my food at? 
Where the fuck? Joe's Chipotle order so plain. What I got? I got a. I got a fucking um. What's that new chicken they got? I don't even know what it's called, bro. I get it every time though. Al Pastor chicken, brown rice, pinto beans, and cheese. Immediately. That's it. I'm jump scared by Shaq. He was cool though. That's it. He didn't say much, but I guess it's just a famous person thing. The inside of the restaurant was sick and had a basketball vibe and had Shaq written all over it. They even had this super fun basketball game. Dare I say perfect interior. I took a look at the menu as I waited in line. Oh, and it's like a fast food place. That's pretty dope. And decided on my order. Hello. Can I get a Shaq attack? And then can I get the Uncle Jerome chicken sandwich? Can I do the three chicken tenders? That will be it. Does Shaq ever come in here? Yeah, he actually came uh, last year around September. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, he came here. Yeah, actually, he comes in like once every five years. Shaq, actually, he does make an appearance. He was here like, you know, like a decade ago. I saw him, I saw him in like 2010. It was actually pretty cool. Pretty year? Yeah. That's crazy. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Off the bat, staff here is super kind. Great customer service. I filled up my cup with strawberry watermelon juice. It tasted like those Mio things. You Every day I go to work and I pray that Shaq will show up. We actually have a worship room in the back office. We all kind of huddle around and we say, maybe today's the day. Maybe, maybe today's the day he'll return with his big smile and beefy hands. Squirt into water and order a chicken sandwich from his well-renowned restaurant. It was fine. They give you one of those cool I clean it every 20 minutes in case he walks in randomly. Those are things that they you never know when he's gonna show up again. I used to have it pizza parlors when I was a kid. I liked that. Within just five minutes, it started buzzing. It's buzzing. Which told us our food was ready. Thanks, appreciate it. This looks so good. Guys, we have a feast. <laughs> I'm starving. This is the chicken tender. It's like... Like you go to a diner, you get chicken tenders. They're not dry whatsoever. And the breading is better than most chicken tenders that I would normally eat. I like spicy shit though. That looks pretty bland. These are good. I'm gonna try the French fries. Worst fries, worst fries. Hot take, hot take. Those fucking cut. If you ever go to a restaurant that got those fries are the worst fries you've ever had. Fucking hate them. I'd rather have curly fries, straight fries, any crinkle cut type shit like they got those out of the freezer and then just fucking threw them in the fryer and gave them to you they're always wet and bland they're fine they're just french fries i got two chicken sandwiches i'm gonna try the uncle jerome first which is supposed to be pretty spicy but according to the reviews it's not spicy at all this looks like a pretty classic you don't like crinkle cut no i fucking love waffle fries though I would kill somebody for fucking waffle fries yo if like if every restaurant i i'll even i, I fuck with steak fries too I'll go to a fucking Red Robin and get some good ass steak fries. They're fine. If I want some potatoy French fries, I like steak fries. Crinkle cut are like they're trying to be regular fries, but they're just potatoy and gross. A chicken sandwich with maybe way too much lettuce on it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, but it's health conscious. Give it a shot. I'm excited. Okay. That's unbelievably mid. It's about just as spicy as Chick-fil-A's spicy sandwich. It definitely isn't better than Popeye's or Chick-fil-A. Now I'm gonna try the one I'm most excited about. This is called the Shack Attack. Hopefully it's better than the last chicken sandwich. Let's try it. That's fun. I actually really like that. We enjoyed our food and I gotta say it was pretty good. Our total came out to 36 bucks though for all that isn't bad 36 27 which isn't bad i wasn't blown away but if you're in the area this is good uh, you got you got two people a meal yeah and you're a fan of shock it's a fun spot at this point i still have no idea who's gonna take the crown for the best celebrity restaurant but hey maybe this next restaurant can we've arrived at a little establishment that goes by the name oh, called heart house i wonder who owns this of the heart house it's owned by a very popular actor that i'm sure you guys know named kevin hart apparently I would say Kevin Hart's more of a comedian. Actually, no, I would say he's more of an actor than a comedian. Honestly. I don't know. Do you guys like Kevin Hart's comedy? I'm not, I'm not going to get into this fucking ramble again. I don't want to say Kevin Hart's a Hollywood plant, but I think he is not funny. I, I, I don't, and I know it's subjective, and I know, motherfucker, I used to watch his comedy specials when I was younger, but there are 
40 better comedians than Kevin Hart. But he'll fill stadiums. Like, he'll fill fucking football stadiums of people for his comedy shows. I just, I don't, I don't understand the hype. All the food here is... Eighth for the three. Last time, my friends brought me a burger while we were out. Uh, went to the bathroom, never noticed. He put a bunch of fucking mushrooms at the burger. Only done mushrooms twice on 14. Went home, started triple balls. Then some of the worst anxiety pain in my life. I was in my room panicking. Ended up saying, wake till 8 a.m. Your friend drugged you. That's a shitty friend. Uh, I hope you're okay. Noah for the sub. KO for the three. Uh, first time in chat and you helped me sleep at night. No way. Also, no shot you ate a whole ass burger with fucking mushrooms in it and didn't taste it. Because mushrooms taste horrible. The cool for the three. Chaos for the three. Don't want to see parasocial. Your VODs help me out a lot. Thanks for being you. Puka for the five. Uh, I re reviewed a place once. It was kind of a hidden place like a, so it, that sold ice cream. The old guy who owned it and his son were so nice. I told him to give him five stars. Hobbit for the three. Changed my name from Soros Rex. Oh, Oshira and Oscar for the sub. It's Dark, uh, Jake, PJ, and Hearts for the sub. All right. Noah for the sub. Is vegan, uh, which is interesting because I've never had vegan food before. So this will be my very first time, and I'm going- Kevin Hart owns a vegan restaurant. Going in with an open mind. It seems like Kevin has a clear goal with this restaurant. Why, why was it important for you to do this? Uh, because it doesn't exist. You know, the goal is to see Hart Houses right smack dab in the middle of where you would see McDonald's, a Burger King, a Chick-fil-A, a Wendy's. Uh, people can have the option for a plant-based fast food taste as well. I don't know if this will be as good as his competitors, but that's why we're here. We're going to get to the bottom of it. I mean, that is a good business idea, having a fucking vegan fast food place. Kevin, there's a couple of reviews for this place. I, I, I feel like I should probably read them. We got Blake B, and he says, I'm disappointed in this burger. I would do one star, but I love their chicken sandwiches. We got... That's a lot of bees. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got Eric K. And he says, the ambience was awesome, but the place was cold AF. They must have had their AC set to 62 degrees or something. Anyway, Who the fuck's eating at a fast food place, though? Are y'all sitting down at, like, a fucking BK and eating your burger? I feel like that shit's sad. The only fast food place I would eat in is, like, Chick-fil-A. And I haven't eaten in a Chick-fil-A for fucking six years easily i will i will go through the drive through and take that shit home loudmouth and a and no for the sub chipotle i don't want to eat at chipotle bro because there's too many people coming in and out and they're ordering food and shit just it would, it would annoy me bill w says bring a jacket <laughs> here we go again it's freezing honestly though eating at a bk would kind of be fire because you know no one's gonna be there if you pull up to a burger king right now and order like a whopper you could sit alone. It would be like that SpongeBob scene when he's at a diner at night and he's like holding a cup of coffee and he's like sad as shit. He's fucking sitting there. That would be you. Just eating your fucking Whopper and your, your BK onion rings. King for the sub. Loud for the sub. Knowing damn well that the next day you're going to have the worst shit of your life cold in there wtf at kevin hart for real i'm so happy i brought a hoodie because uh, apparently it's like an antarctica simulation in there well kevin whatever happens just know i love you is that a little too dramatic probably hey it's actually relatively warm in here it's almost hot in here i want to go ahead and get the classic crispy chicken sandwich i'm also going to go ahead and get the single burger that'll be it Perfect. I'm excited. I love Kevin Hart. That's good. He came to the right spot. Does he come here often? Yeah, I've been here like three times. Oh, for real? Yeah, Thank man. you. Gotcha. You're awesome, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. I went to Philip. No, he's never been here once. I've been waiting. I took this job just to meet Kevin Hart. I actually have a voodoo doll of him in my car that I've been, you know, kind of worshiping to. Just, you know, putting vibes out there. And maybe he'll show up soon. Um, I've been saving my belly button lint for him. I'm probably going to quit once I see him, but I'm just, you know, I, I, I don't know how else I'm going to notice him. I, 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 I'm just waiting for him to show up one day, maybe have a one-on-one -on -one convo with Kevin. My drink and had to decide between all these sodas. Just ask him how he does it, you know, how he's just, he's just an all-around guy. He's just there, you know, he's always fucking, he's always fucking, you know, doing comedy and just being, you know, funny and uplifted. It's just... I'm just, just an actual Kevin Hart dick rider that works at this restaurant. I've never seen before. Lemongrass? That sounds horrible.
39 grams of sugar. Including this lemongrass flavor that I just had to try. The service was perfect and he even hooked us up with a free drink. The inside had a super cool modern look, uh, nothing related to Kevin Hart. Yo, imagine, imagine, imagine he pulls up to the fucking Hart house. Yeah, can I get a water cup? Proceeds to go to the fuck. Can I get a water cup? Goes to the fucking drink line. Makes direct eye contact with the worker as you're just filling up like fucking Sprite heart but it gave me very healthy and clean vibes although the tables know it damn well they're not going to do anything because they're getting paid minimum wage and there's no reason they should confront you because they would do the same exact thing in your scenario it's so clean but we won't hold that against them too much i know uh, gonna... we're good happened? literally almost destroyed the camera there <laughs> whoops Hard rate is large, so you guys can, you can get some stuff. Dude, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Food looks good, man. This looks really good. This might be Kevin Hart's pee. I'm not sure. <laughs> We're gonna find out. Oh, God, if only. <laughs> the guy in the back. The guy in the back. Oh, if only, if only it was. I actually, have a, I actually have a catch machine at the toilet or the bathroom in case, he, in case when he comes in, he decides to use it. Yeah, let's try it. Dude, I love it. Imagine if like ginger ale and like a healthier Sprite mix. Okay, I'm gonna start with the- Imagine Kevin comes in and he's like, I gotta take a shit. Goes in the bathroom, comes back out. The worker immediately is like, I'll go clean the bathroom, hold up. Hater top, looks pretty good. You hear him like dismantling the fucking toilet and the sewer system. It's crispy and it tastes delicious. Should I try the burger? This is just like a classic cheeseburger. It's not gonna be real meat, so I'm interested to see if I like this. This is the first bite of vegan food right here. I'm kinda scared, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, oh. Are you sure this isn't a real burger? That's crazy. This is a lot better than a lot of real burgers that I've had. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that this burger is a certified banger. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm taking this over McDonald's. And I love McDonald's. I am super impressed. I'll try a chicken sandwich. This is supposed to be the best thing here. Now that's gonna be whack. Now that's gonna be whack. That thick ass meat, that's probably like cauliflower. Here. Dude, it's good. I didn't think I would like this. As far as I don't think I would like it. Maybe I would. It goes, this was incredible. Our total came out to $23.52, which I personally think is a great deal for what you get. Kevin Hart, you've blown my socks off. Here's a picture for proof. Although there is no way it competes with this last restaurant that has the potential to put all the previous ones to shame. We have made it to the final restaurant. This place is named Tatel, and it's owned by the most famous person on this- Wayne Johnson! Whole list, Cruciata. Oh, yield 86 rating on FIFA, on FIFA 24, eh? Oh, EA, EAFC, my bad. Yield 86 rating, right? The old, uh... Couldn't even break 90s in the fucking FIFA, right? Sorry. Right. See, see, see. I don't know how to pronounce it. See, Cristiano. Cristiano. Cristiano Ronaldo. Weirdly enough, the only thing I could find that relates Ronaldo to this restaurant is one photo he posted on Instagram. I'm not gonna lie, for a guy with 624 million Instagram followers, that is wild to have that many. Aren't there people with like a billion followers on Instagram? Who has the most followers on Insta? Who has the most followers on Instagram? It's probably like Ariana Grande. It is Cristiano Ronaldo. What? It's Cristiano Ronaldo, then, then uh, Ariana Grande. Then Kylie Jenner, The Rock, Selena Gomez. I feel like Selena Gomez is kind of random up there. Kim, Kardashian, Messi, Beyonce, and Justin Bieber. He's pretty quiet about this place. Look, according to the- Do you think Ronaldo is the most known athlete in the world? Yeah. Him or Messi. Just because football or soccer in the U.S. would be- I would say that's the most worldwide sport 
that people partake in and know about. So I would assume he, not this again. I would assume Ronaldo, it's not even not this again. I would assume it is uh, Ronaldo. I would say, who's the most known athlete ever? Alive or dead? Like in the US, you could say like, oh, Babe Ruth or fucking like old baseball players, but they're not known. It's probably, I would say Muhammad Ali in terms of like Pele, Muhammad Ali, Ronaldo. I would say Ronaldo is more known than Pele all time just because Pele had, there was less people when he was in, when he was playing, you know, like your grandparents when they were alive, not when they were alive, when your grandparents, I mean, if they're alive, hopefully, but it, it, when your grandparents were kids, there were like 2 billion people on the world. Like, in the world, as population, right? Like, you're, if your grandpa's, like, 90, when he was, like, 10, there were 6 billion less people in the world than there is now. The population has, like, tripled. The reviews of this place. No, there wasn't. Yes, there was. I hate when people just say, no, there wasn't. Earth population in the 1940s. There were 2.3 billion people that lived on Earth in 1940. Earth population right now is 7.95 billion. Actually, 8.104 billion. It's supposed to be amazing. And there seems to be one thing that everybody loves from this restaurant. It's cheesecake. Now, if I had a dollar... People be popping out kids, dude. Holy fuck. You, 1940? 1940s hasn't even been 100 years. 8 billion people from 2.3? Motherfuckers just be popping those fuckers out. And people be living long, dude. For every positive review about this cheesecake, I would be able to afford this video. Seriously, though, people even say not to get it because it will change your life, which means I'm going to see it's exponential. No, it's not exponential. It's because people are fucking cranking out kids. If you and your partner to keep the world population the same, you have to have 2.1 kids. Right? The reason it's point one is because you have to focus on, like, you know, the factor of people not having kids before they die. Or just deciding not to have kids. If you and your partner decide to not change the world population, you will have two children. So for the world population to grow, every couple has to have more than two kids. Meaning, like, in the 1940s, there were multiple families. Like, most families were having... Three, four, five, six, seven kids. Evo for the sub. See if it's true. I actually can't believe like, that. That's why like, it's not that shocking when your grandparent was like, you know, well, when I died, I had uh, died, died siblings. Uh, this is coming to an end. We visited so many restaurants and literally the whole thing has just been a blast. If you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like it, the best thing you guys can do to show us that is subscribe. We're trying to hit this goal of a million subscribers before the end of the year. It's a crazy goal, but I know that it's possible. Literally none of this is possible without you guys, so thank you. And uh, Ronaldo, I'm coming. All right. Hi, we have a 5.30 reservation. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. The most silent keep receptionist. It honest, dude, that's by far the worst service we've had. And I don't know, weird vibes, man. It just it just feels off. But on the bright side, the inside was very nice. I was getting very strong Italian vibes from it, but nothing related to Ronaldo. But overall, it was good. All right, I'm gonna do the tuna carpaccio. Receptionist, whatever they're called, bro. What's the person at the fucking front of the restaurant? Le Mignon. The rigatoni. Slice of cheesecake for dessert. Got it. Perfect. Yeah. I just blew a bag. Okay, that dude was actually chill. So I'm gonna have to boost up the rating for the service. Our Hostess. first plate arrived, starting with tuna car carpaccio. I don't, this too fancy for me. Alright. Oh my goodness. This was some of the freshest fish I've ever had, and it was sliced paper thin, and the sauce made it just perfect. The next item arrived, and it was rigatoni pasta. If I'm being 100% honest, it's very lacking in flavor it pretty much had no flavor and the chicken in it was even dry i definitely wouldn't get this again but maybe this steak will make up for it 
it's dry. Really? Yeah, I'm not complaining. It tastes delicious, but for the price, not worth it. As good as this food looks, it just wasn't as good as the other places that we've had. But hey, this cheesecake might just the save it. The cheesecake Funnily saves the day that they got like fucking pre-packaged from a factory. Enough, one of the servers came up and even told us this. It's not just cheesecake. But let's see if the hype is actually worth it. This is supposed to be the best cheesecake in the world. Here we go. Oh, three, two, one. Honestly, it's just a really good cheesecake. Overall is- <laughs> Yeah. What the fuck? How are you going to make a real? It's just cheesecake. You can't make it that much better than a good cheesecake. As far as taste goes, this place was actually good. Was it $145 good? Oh, fuck Probably no. not. You know, leaving this last restaurant, I had a lot on my mind. We visited so many great restaurants, and to pick one was not going to be easy. But I have to say, if this was purely... I'd pick that Shack place, bro. The Shack or the Kevin Hart place, actually. Based off taste. Her price. Bad Bunny is winning every single time. But with price and service included, there's only one place that I feel deserves the number one spot. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Kevin Hart, you have blown my socks to smithereens. Look, if you told me a vegan place would be my favorite, I would probably think you're crazy. But hey. Because it's literally a fast food restaurant. Now that was a good video though. Jake for the sub and the three. Not gonna lie to you, Joe, I shit myself today. Luckily, we're only 10 minutes from my house, so it didn't cross. Oh, so you still have shit in your pants. Send for the three. Uh, is it philosophy stream, but how do you, how do you get into reading books, especially philosophy books? You got to start usually with like, most philosophers usually expound on other philosophers and try and disprove why they're wrong and why they're right. That's what most philosophers do. Okay. So if you start with a philosopher that's like, you know, 1600s, they're going to be trying to disprove people before them that you don't know what the fuck they said. So usually start with like Greek philosophy, usually like Aristotle. You could start with fucking Plato. Plato's really good to start with. And then kind of go from there, right? And just kind of go up the timeline. That's usually how they te teach in schools as well. Um, but yeah. No, we'll do a philosophy stream probably next week. Evo for the sub. Or half philosophy next week. Uh, today we're just doing straight reacts. Tomorrow is um, Sim Games. Tuesday off. Wednesday, thir uh, Wednesday Scary Games. Thursday Rainbow Six Fortnite. Streaming early. Probably not as long because I got to do fucking merch picks. Friday reacts, Saturday merch drop slash behind the wheel sim games like American Truck Sim and fucking some random games. And then Sunday we'll probably do reacts as well. Friday we're probably going to go over the collections that you guys sent in the Discord. You guys sent uh, a bunch of your, you know, prized collections that I'm going to be rating, reviewing, possibly making fun of uh, on Friday. But yeah, if you have any videos you want me to watch, games you want me to play, exclamation with Discord, send them there. Uh, video suggestion, I have game suggestion, tap it, I find most of the videos that I watch the games that I play. Somebody said W stream. We are not ending. We are not ending. We are not ending, bitch. I don't know why motherfuckers say W stream. We got fucking two more plus hours more of fucking videos. No one A for the sub. Dub in the chat for that. The motherfuck motherfuckers saying W stream. Loud and king for the sub. I mean, thank you, but we're not ending. Tay hungry for the five gifteds. Lego and Jax for the sub. It's whenever I shout the Discord, motherfuckers think I'm ending. Now we got all these videos left. Chat, I gotta fucking piss real quick though, so count me down 30 seconds. Holy shit. I'll play the weekend for you. There it is.
<sighs> We're back. We're back. Longest piss ever. Buddy, I'm allowed to take a fucking piss if I want to take a piss, pal. Jeez. Jeez. Been sitting here yapping, man. Uh, all right. Uh, bad vibes and Axel for the sub, Jax for the sub. Chat one or two, I gotta post on TikTok. And then we'll hop back into the fucking reacts. Two, word. For posting. Oh, Nick A30 video came up on my For You page. Is Nick A30 still popular? I've, I feel like I haven't seen him in a bit. He usually just has, like, trends of up and down. I feel like his popularity just trends with Fortnite's popularity. Especially when you're, like, a one-game streamer. You're kind of depending on your game still popping. And if it doesn't, then, like, not as many people are going to watch you. All right, chat. We don't need... Oh, wait. I thought people were still spamming one, too. All right. Uh, lock back in here, chat. Type locked in. We got a lot more videos we got to watch, so we got to get fucking through these. Key for the sub, or key send for the sub. Dude, I have so many of my finals. I'm fucking, I just want to be done college, bro. I'm thinking about when I'm done streaming, I got to do fucking classwork, and I'm not looking forward to it. Holy shit. Not this week or next week, but I think it's the week after that. I'm probably going to have to take, like, two days off, because I have, like, grad ceremonies and shit. I'm just giving you guys a heads up on that, but that's, like, way down the line. Oshiro for the three. This way the customer came into my gas station and started saying the craziest shit. At one point, he said, I got to get out of here. Your pheromones are doing something to me. What the fuck? My what, bro? He couldn't even... He, he said he could rob the place, but he won't because he's nice. He said, your pheromones? Like, your scent? What the fuck? The nine most painful things you can ever experience. What do we think's on this? Obviously, I see passing a kidney stone. Giving birth. When you get hit in the ankle with a Razor scooter. When you're like five. Probably getting hit in the nuts. Getting boiled alive. I feel like it's, it's probably a bodily experience, though. I'm wondering if it's going to be, like, something that's inside your body. Obviously, yeah. Like, if I strap you to a fucking chair and, and peel your skin off, that's going to be one of the most painful things you could experience. I'm saying I think it has to be something they could gauge biologically, not, like, torture methods. Let's get right into it. Getting your skin peeled off like you're a fucking banana. Number nine, passing a kidney stone. Imagine this. I pray I never have to pass a kidney stone. I thought I had one the other day. My lower back started hurting and I couldn't fucking sit normally. I was like, dude, I have one. I, I started I started drinking like acidic drinks because I know it's supposed to help you. You're going about your... Dude, just the idea of having to pee a rock out of my urethra sounds horrible. Like to have to piss a rock or it, and say you can't piss it out. They have to go in and pull it out. No, I, I'm not looking forward to ever having to get a catheter as a man. I think that is a very big fear of mine, is having to get a tube inserted into my urethra so I can pee, and it's always that. What is a catheter? It's when they shove, they have like a needle, and they kind of just jam it through into your bladder, and then you don't have to pee, right? But, like, old people get catheters. Phase for the sub. T for the three. Or if you have to get surgery. See you later. Hope I can catch you tomorrow. If not, I'll see you next month. Got some military stuff. Well, good luck. My friend had one. He said it was the worst pain he ever experienced. Yeah. Most people say, like, I know people that have had kidney stones and say it's, like, almost the equivalent. Well, I mean, it also varies what kidney stone you have, but almost the equivalent pain of giving birth. Like, passing a kidney stone or having one. I mean, that's also their experience, though. I'm never going to give birth because I'm a dude, but... Day, minding your own business, when suddenly you feel a sharp pain in your back, 
At first you think, oh, I must have pulled a muscle from all that intense couch sitting I've been doing. But then, the pain starts to move. That's because the kidney stone is going on a little adventure through your urinary tract. As the stone makes its way from your kidney to your bladder, the pain gets worse and worse. It's like someone's taking a tiny little knife and stabbing you from the inside. And the Dude, worst part is... because they're not pebbles either. They're not pebbles either. Let me look up a kidney stone. They're like hard, sharp, like... They look like quartz from Minecraft, dude. That's a kidney stone. Hmm. I'd much rather piss that one out. This one looks like a fucking hassle, man. Imagine trying to pee that out. Fuck, dude. What if it gets lodged halfway? Oh, fuck. Stop. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to wait for the stone to pass. Some people compare the pain of passing a kidney stone to giving birth. I mean, at least when you give birth, you get a cute little baby at the end. Number eight, the Urukanji jellyfish. Let's okay. say you're swimming so in the crystal... it's not just bodily things. The Urukanji jellyfish? Still clear waters of Australia. How do they gauge what's the most, what's the most painful, though? Like, is there a way they can sense how... Like, probably, the, like, a nerve-ending thing. Enjoying the beautiful weather. But then, out of nowhere you feel a tiny prick on your skin. At first, you think it's just a piece of seaweed or maybe a curious fish nibbling at you. But then, the pain kicks in. Let me introduce you to the Irukandji jellyfish, the tiny terror of the ocean. These little guys are so small, they could fit on your fingernail. But don't let their size fool you. What they lack in size, they make up for in pure, agonizing pain. About 20 to 30 minutes after being stung, you start to feel like you're having the worst day of your life. You're back and Dude, like, this shit makes me never want to go in the ocean. This shit makes me never want to go in the ocean. The, the AI voice is pissing me off. I mean, dude, that's every one of these videos. But, uh, like, I, whenever I watch a video about painful shit, it always ends up talking about snails and stuff that lives in the ocean that I didn't know about. But, like, if it hits, if it stings me or bites me, I'm going to fucking go to cardiac arrest and fucking seize. And I might lose all of my limbs stomach start hurting like you've just been sucker punched by a professional boxer your muscles cramp up making you feel like you're being twisted into a human pretzel and then the cherry on top of this pain sunday i don't think this is an ai voice i think he's just talking like that a feeling of impending doom people that are stung believe they're going to die and they're so certain of it that they'll actually beg their doctors to kill them just to get it over with wow. now you might be thinking but i'm not planning on swimming in australia well, oh, it's too in bad. Australia. Yeah, uh, shocker. These tiny terrors have been found in waters all over the world, from Hawaii <sighs> to Florida. Number seven. Florida? They're in Florida? Idea and milkshake for the three. I'd have passed two knee kidney stones at 15. How's that? Phase for the sub. Eddie for the five. Can you do a reaction to the newest Nick Crowley video? It's good. Can you send it in the video suggestion tab? Tetanus. You know how people always say, Damn tetanus, bitch. I feel like you never get tetanus, though. At least nowadays. Just because if you step on a rusty nail, you just end up going and getting a shot for it. Like, most people don't have to deal with actual, like, having tetanus. Make sure your tetanus shot is up to date. Well, there's a good reason for that. Tetanus, also known as lockjaw, is a bacterial infection that affects your nervous system. It what is it? When you step on a rusty nail... Like, if you ever walk by, dude, my eyes getting red, it itches so much. If you ever walk by, like, a fucking, like, a guardrail or something, and you cut yourself on something rusty, you have to get checked for tetanus. Starts with a little cut or scratch. Maybe you're out gardening and you nick yourself on a rusty tool. Or maybe you're just walking barefoot and you step on a nail. Either way, the tetanus bacteria gets into your body and starts wreaking havoc. At first, you might not even notice anything's wrong. But then, a few days later, the real fun begins. Your muscles start to spasm and stiffen up. It starts in your jaw, hence the nickname Lockjaw. But it doesn't stop there. The spasms spread to your neck, your arms, your legs, until your whole body is as stiff as a board. And the worst part is that what? the What? So you can't move? I didn't know tetanus got that bad. I thought that shit would just make you sick and die. Spasms are incredibly painful. It's like your muscles are having a full-on revolt against you. So, yeah, make sure your tetanus shot is up to date. Number nah, six. this is definitely an AI voice. The way he's talking. Cluster headaches. Imagine the worst headache you've ever had. 
Now, multi didn't speed have cluster headaches, and it like made his eyes swell up or something. Multiply that by a hundred, and you might be getting close to what a cluster headache feels like. People who suffer from cluster headaches often describe the pain as feeling like a hot poker being jabbed into their eye. Others say it's like having a serrated knife sawing through their skull. Basically, if you can imagine a horrible, painful sensation, cluster headaches have probably been compared to it. The worst part about cluster headaches is that they come in clusters. They'll happen every day for weeks or even months at a time. Weeks or months straight and they don't fucking go away? You can't take anything for that shit? And then suddenly disappear like an ex who owes you money. But just when you think you're in the clear, they come back with a vengeance. During an attack, people often pace around, bang their head against the wall, or even scream in agony. So... Yeah, I can't imagine that. I used to have really bad my... Anybody here have migraines? Getting really bad migraines were fucking awful. I remember I used to sit in class and I would know I was getting a migraine because before my head even started hurting, everything would get, like, weird and blotchy. Like, there would be gray spots in my vision and I wouldn't be able to see certain things. And I remember the worst one I ever had was in eighth grade. And I was sitting in class in the back and I couldn't even see the teacher's face like I could see around him but there was like a weird gray mark that was like covering the teacher's face so I had to like turn my eyes to look at him and right when I got home my head just started pounding I sat in a dark room for fucking six hours with a with uh just a fucking pillow over my head and I squat like I would squeeze my temples and just go uh dead ass for six hours like just uh, just like over and over again because it made me feel better just like like groaning and also just like squeezing my oh my god it was so bad if you ever meet someone who suffers from cluster headaches give them a hug or better yet six hours yeah they could get so bad too you get really nauseous and puke but it doesn't go away and all you can do is just drink water and wait give them some earplugs because chances are they're going to be doing a lot of screaming. Number five, getting stung by a stonefish. Imagine you're walking on the beach, enjoying the sand between your toes, but then suddenly you step on something sharp. You look down, expecting to see a seashell or a piece of coral, but nope, it's a stonefish, and it's just injected you with enough venom to make you wish you'd stayed at the hotel scrolling through TikTok. Now, if you're not familiar with stonefish, they're like the ninjas of the sea. They're masters of disguise, blending in with the rocks and coral on the ocean floor. They're so good at it. You could be staring right at one and still not notice it. It's like they're playing- Oh my god, this guy's so fucking annoying, dude. Number four, fibromyalgia. Imagine waking up every day- Fibromyalgia? I see commercials about that all the time. If you have fibromyalgia and need to contact a physician- Feeling like you've been hit by a truck. Your body aches, you're exhausted no matter how much you sleep, and even the slightest touch can feel like you're being stabbed with a thousand tiny needles. Fibromyalgia is a chronic condition that causes widespread pain throughout the body. It's like having a never-ending flu, except instead of getting sympathy, people often think you're just being a drama queen. One of the most frustrating things about fibromyalgia is that it's invisible. Yo, y'all remember the one guy that couldn't stop coming? And it was, like, a day in the life, and he would just be, like, bent over in a park, like, fucking moaning or some shit. Dude, that was the... Okay, I know this is way off topic. I'm done with this video, by the way. I, like, literally can't listen to him. It's just the fucking AI voice is so annoying. It's fun. Like, it's an entertaining topic, but it's like, fuck, man. It just him sitting there. Fibromyalgia. If you have fibromyalgia and you've been dealing with... It, I gotta look up the guy that couldn't stop coming. Man who can't stop having orgasms. It's like an actual disease. Oh, God. Oh. Man who has suffered 100 orgasms a day for the past two years. Father of two, Dale Decker, suffers from a rare and seemingly incurable condition that leads to him suffering up to 100 unwanted orgasms a day. There's nothing pleasurable about it because even though it might physically feel good, the whole time inside your mind, you're completely disgusted by what's going on. And depending on where you're at, if you're in public, if you're in front of kids, if you're around strangers, 
I mean, it, it can make a person break real fast. The 37-year-old is the first man to ever speak publicly about the condition known as Persistent Sexual Arousal Syndrome, or PSAS, and he says it's ruining his life. When you're on your Yo, that of... would fucking suck, man. Like, and you could, people would be like mad at you too, and they wouldn't know. Like, I know it's like, oh, pu people probably think it's funny, but like, that would fucking imagine being like in line in TSA and you're getting like patted down and it just starts. It's your father's funeral. You're ordering food on a drive, on a date, right? Oh my God. At his casket. And you're saying goodbye to him. Oh no. On your knees at your father's funeral, at his casket, and you're saying goodbye to him. And then you have nine orgasms right there while your whole family is standing behind you. This makes you never want to have another mm. orgasm as long as you live. But you know what? You just keep on coming. Dale, from Wisconsin in America, was enjoying his suburban life in 2012 when he slipped a disc in his back while getting out of a chair. Tri Wait, so he didn't always have it? What a horrible way to live. That would suck. Oh my god. Nothing to joke about seriously bad? Yeah, that would be fucking awful. Winkles and Fluffies for the set, milkshake for the three. I, would, I was throwing up constantly and lost about 10 to 15 pounds, not even joking, in a five-day span. Wow, that is awful. 10 pounds, milkshake for the three. During it, the stone got stuck and uh, was backing up my pipe, so it, and it, it was ejecting everything in my body. Babushi for the three. I think I have, uh, what do you think it could be? I think I have depression because of trauma. Also, what's your favorite philosophical concept, if that makes sense? Uh, I would obviously seek therapy, but favorite philosophical concept. Um, what's a good philosophical concept? I'm like I'm trying. I don't really have a favorite. I mean, obviously, I think the subjectivity of morality. I've talked about that a lot. Just the the idea of how morality started. I think Friedrich Nietzsche gives a very good intro to, uh, in a historical perspective. Um, but if you're talking like trippy ideas, not even in the philosophy realm, just more in the science realm, uh, the idea that I obviously just the multiverse, the idea that there's an infinite set of views that have lived an infinite set of probabilities. It's pretty cool. Is my eye swelling shut? I feel like I'm fucking losing vision right now. Epic for the sub. Winkles for the sub. One is stream ending? Not for a bit. We still got three more fucking videos. This is long as hell, too. The death of children's biggest icon. Lock in. Back to the Papa Meat channel. How you doing? How you doing? Come on in and sit on down today. We're talking about something a bit tragic. Dare I say scandalous. The internet is a cruel and unforgiving place. God forbid you say one wrong thing and then you're strung up by the masses to be burned at the stake like the goddamn witch that you are. And right now, the internet is hanging Jojo Siwa up at the stake to burn like the crisp little piggy she is. Well, I think the reason Jojo gets so much hate right now is because not just she's changing, hey, I, I, I'm no longer like the bow tie, pulled back hair and a ponytail, like la 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 la, like, like more like kid entertainer. I want to be an adult music, like her musician, right? And I respect that. Right, like I respect her wanting to change the vibe and what you know type of content she produces. However, her going and saying, "I'm the most fucking switched artist there is. I've changed so much. I think I've had the biggest flop, flip flop ever." Like, bro, there are so many creators that have had way more massive changes, like Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus. Like, holy shit. Epic for the sub, Winkles for the sub. She's ruining her brand? 
Well, I mean, she's so rich now that I think she's just at the point where I'm going to do what I want, and if it works, it works. But, like, this isn't being edgy. Like, wearing, like, punk makeup and, like, do it. Like, did you, did you guys see her music video? Jojo Siwa. I feel like I'm going to have to mute it. It's definitely going to get fucking copyrighted. But I'll be able to show, like, just a fraction of this. Like, it's just this underwater vibe, and they're doing, like, these dances and shit. It literally looks like the movie Step Up. Like, if you've seen the movie Step Up, where they do, like, big group fucking work, right? Where they're all just kind of walking in public, and they go, nah. <laughs> And they all stand in unison and do it. So it looks, like, mildly entertaining. But it's, like, the opposite of, like, badass. Yeah, it's, like, Camp Rock mixed with Step Up. That's the music video. Yes. <laughs> Even if you don't know who JoJo Siwa is, you've probably seen JoJo Siwa in some kind of capacity, right? Big colorful outfits, big pigtails, big bows. Right, Nick? Dancing around. She drives cars that have her branding all over it and her face all over it. It's very eccentric and weird. And Do you think she got rid of those? From the brand switch? Because she wears all different clothes now. Like, she doesn't dress like a toddler anymore. Very odd. I mean, very odd. I was trying to think about if I was a toddler. It's very, it's, it's oddly so very self-obsessive. I, I guess think she probably just got them re-wrapped. I think she got them wrapped in, like, regular fucking car font is branding is a branding she's like a font regular car style pop star right today's video is sponsored by Wo oh, i'm sorry papa beat i'm skipping it i'm skipping the world of tag sad i don't know jojo siwa she got her start when she was nine years old appearing as a dancer on two seasons of the reality tv show the worst show ever dance moms dude literally just forcing your kid to fucking perform the moms just trying to fucking live vicariously through their children i could rant about how shitty dance moms is for fucking days just a bunch of a bunch of women that didn't accomplish what they wanted to in life and so they're forcing their fucking children to do what they wish they could have done when that might not even be their kid's dream Right, like literally, and I'm, you could, there's so many parents that do that. There's so many parents that do that in general as well. Just in, in fucking male sports, female sports, anything, dude. Just fucking getting your kid to like making them do what you wish you could have accomplished and just like getting so angry at them when they fail or fuck up. Like it's you. So annoying. So much beef. Oh my God. Corrupted for the three. But I will say, yeah, like, half of the fucking kids that were on the show ended up becoming famous. JoJo stole the song from Britney Smith, and then said she wrote it in before that. Dance. It was Britney Smith. Bacon for the sub. Moms. Next we have... Hated her. JoJo! Look at this young JoJo Siwa. It was good. She was possessed. It was good. Well, if you're so good, you don't really need to be a part of the Ivy League Dance Company. She deserves if you're so good, you don't need to be a part of the Abbey Lane Dance Company. Maybe, maybe you could take your talent elsewhere and not to be a part of the Abbey Lane Dance Company. Bitch, nobody wants to be a part of your stupid ass fucking Abbey Lane Dance Company, dude. Oh my god. You see she works at a Cracker Barrel now? To be on the pyramid, she was in the group dance. She deserves nothing! <laughs> this was so fucking stupid. Well, if you yell at me, I'm gonna cry. Get out. Let's go. go. Okay. Go. Go. Is it really? See, like, that's why I don't like, like, I, I respect JoJo for that, bro. If you yell at me, I'm going to cry. Facts. Like, facts. Like, you're, you're just a fucking dance teacher screaming, <laughs> screaming at the kid when she just didn't even do anything. Anything self-redeemable about, like, child pageantry. I understand that, like, dance, dance is an art form that has a lot of, like, a lot of dance teachers are aggressive in their, their approach, right? And how they want you to perform. And they're very like, come on, come on, come on, get it, get it, get it. But it's like, it, especially when you're recording it for reality TV, they up it even more and just make it so like, they none of the kids even want to be there. 
your child dance shows. What do you think the minimum age for dance show should be for a child? How about 16? You're able to drive yourself to the show at least. You're able, you are you have the, at least the conscious enough to be able to put the goddamn car and drive and go. And in 2015, she launched her YouTube channel and after gaining a huge children audience, she appeared on various Nickelodeon shows and movies and made kids music. She exploded into the kids sphere of media and became- What is her net worth? She's probably worth fucking 200 million easy. I remember everybody was talking about how many bows she sold. 20 million. I feel like it's got to be more than that. She was like the most popular kids artist for, for like fucking five years. Became a goddamn child pop icon. Make some noise for Joe Joe C. Wow! Boomerang is one of her most listened to songs with almost a billion views on YouTube. What the 997? hell? 997. She's rolling up with a goddamn lifted car. This is odd. I don't really care about what they say. I'm going to come back like a boomerang. You know what's kind of weird is that the karma lyrics read kind of similar. I don't really care about what they say. It feels like Nickelodeon music. If I was a, if I was a little kid. Ooh, ooh, uh, ooh, ooh, uh. <laughs> uh, she's doing her thing. She's going to come. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh. You judge me, but I don't care. I'm going to take your hate. And leave it over there. Back like a boomerang. <laughs> I flip my hair and walk on my way to school with my cool backpack and friends that rule. Ooh, ooh. And in 2017, some shit like that. That's the lyrics of the song. 17, JoJo won the best viral music award at the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Award. I was that outfit looks so uncomfortable, dude. Like, those stars are definitely stabbing her insides. Best Viral Music Award at the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Award. I was still surprised to hear that that's like a coveted reward. JoJo has described herself as being a quote-unquote, a giant toddler. Nom, 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 nom. And up until oh she- Oh my god. Yo, have you ever done something so cringe alone that you get mad at yourself because of how cringe it was? Or just like in general, just even in public, like you do something so cringe, you're like, fuck, man, that right there. Like I could be alone in a room and just do something that's like cringy. I don't want to do it right now because I know I'm going to get mad at myself. But like I could I could sit there and make like some like what fuck like that just pissed me off, dude. That just actually annoyed me. That actually annoyed me. Like I fucking hate that. Like, I don't know how, like, it, it's the recognition that it's cringy is just like, oh, fuck, man. That just, oh. She was 18. I, I couldn't do it. She kept like, up. every day. The leotards, matching bows, like a goddamn Toontown character. This is known as the JoJo with a Bobo era. You know, I wonder why a lot of the time I make these videos myself. Um, I'm not sure. It's my job. What am I supposed to do? Her name was so synonymous with Bose that she reportedly sold over 80 million. Wow, dude. 80 million Bose. How much do you think they were selling for each? Probably cheap, dude. A Bose, what, like four bucks? Bose from her JoJo Siwa product line. How was that? What was that, like 290 or was that the shit under it? Siwa product line. How was that possible? How is that possible? How was that actually possible? How much? Well, I'm assuming everybody's probably buying like five. It, it, what is it? What is eighty million divided by five? <sighs> math, math. I'm not even gonna look at chat. Sixteen mil, right? Yeah, sixteen mil. Money, do you think? Sixteen million people bought five bows each. That's reasonable. There's probably some people that brought like 50. She gets per bow. How much do the bows go for? <clears throat> if I was in the bow- $10 for one? She gets per bow. How much do the bows go for? <clears throat> oh, fucking 20 million net worth my ass. She sold 800 million in bows. I mean, yeah, she's not getting all the profit off that, but she even if she gets 30% minus 50% tax, that's still fucking uh, an insane amount of money. If I was in the bow game, I'd be a lot, lot more happy. I'd be like, I'd be, my net worth would be way up. JoJo's net worth is currently at $20 million after- How, though?
launching numerous merchandise targeted at children. It's gotta be more. Uh, you know, the Jake Paul, the, the Paul brothers told us back, you know, back in the day, buy that merch. All I want for Christmas is that Jake Paul merch. The kids got the money. Here's the thing about YouTubers and influencers alike who have children audiences. The parents are so annoyed. It's the next evolutionary step of giving your child an iPad is buying them merch just so they'll shut the hell up. It goes, shit out your mom's pussy, iPad, YouTube merchandise, and then you gotta, you gotta call, you get a driver's license. That feels like the natural evolution to me. For a while now, she's been a big name in the children's entertainment, but guess what? Today's video is all talking about a thing that just happened. And let me show you what happened. I'm just gonna, uh, sorry about this. Ah! No! No! Jojo, no! no! Jojo showed up to the iHeart yeah, but it's like, dude, the music videos, too, is like, I'm a bad girl. I did a bad thing. But there's nothing that's bad in the video. It's not like she's like, you remember when Miley Cyrus was on the wrecking ball and was like in clubs doing crack and like, and like not crack, but like she was doing like fucking Molly and like drugs and shit. Like, that's like, I, you're, you know, you're a bad, you're a bad girl, right? You're doing edgy shit. Right, you're like literally doing illegal activities, right? Making a music video where you kiss another woman in wearing like punk rock makeup, nothing's wrong with that, right? That's not, like you're not even, like there's nothing, you, there's nothing bad about that. Radio Music Awards looking like this, like Gene Simmons or a version of Kiss. It's because it's not even her song. Yeah, but who wrote it then? I've already shit every brick possible that I got none left in me. Looking like this to promote her new song entitled Karma. Which I will say it seems more like her though, right? Like it, it, her personality seems more not fabricated. I'm going to be a kid artist for fucking money. She came out on the 5th of April. Remember, remember. Who is Britney Smith? I need to look this person up. It doesn't even show up. Brit Smith. Oh, music, American singer and songwriter. I've never heard of this woman. Brittany Alice Smith. She made a song in Step Up 2. No fucking shot. And I said it was like Step Up. She made Let It Go from Step Up the Streets. She's like 38, though, so she wrote it a long time ago. The 5th of April. Pretty sure that's what Guy Fawkes. She bought the rights to the song. I don't understand the idea of performing a song that you didn't, like, at least have a part in making. Said I'm most positive. After the last few years, she's attempted to rebrand herself as a mature adult and to distance herself from her old image, much like Miley Cyrus, Hannah Montana, and now she's swinging with wrecking balls and she's showing her pussy on stage with Robin Thicke. I might be going dead, I might be going blind, but maybe I'm out of my mind. Oh my god, I forgot about that era of Miley Cyrus. I might be going like I knew it was like the wrecking ball phase, but I forgot that it was like four years of the wrecking ball blind, phase. But maybe I'm out of my mind. I remember when Miley Cyrus twerked on stage with that? I was like, that's not Hannah Montana. I thought we were having a party in the USA. No, Miley, no. Which, you know, Miley has obviously very successfully transitioned from child star. I used yeah. to strip naked, completely <laughs> naked in a Cracker Barrel when I was age of three and like roll around on the ground. Into oh pop. my God. Okay. Okay. Bro, I thought she was gonna say. I thought she was gonna say when I was in my edgy phase, I used to strip naked in a Cracker Barrel. <laughs> I used to, just, I used to just fucking take all my clothes off and start fucking dancing next to the pictures. Up icon, very hard to do, and JoJo is trying to climb that mountain right as we speak. I will say she's trying to distance herself from her old image, but she still narcissistically drives cars with her face on it. I don't know how well that holds up with branding for an adult. That would just have her normal car. Because also, if you're ever a dick in traffic, there's like a video I'm pretty sure of, of her cutting off someone in traffic. Jojo Siwa us over here. <laughs> People are just gonna know it's you. I don't know. I'm trying to think about if Jojo Siwa would ever cut me off. I would fucking smash my car into the side of that dumbass. Oh, I would never smash my car into the side of that car. That car's probably worth so fucking much. Is that a sh I can't tell what kind of car that is. Prius. It's not a Prius, dude. That is not a Prius. What car is that?
I don't know. I'm trying to think about if JoJo see whatever cut me off. I would fucking smash my car into the side of that dumbass. Yeah, it does push. look like a that is a Lamborghini RS. That's a very expensive car. It's some sort of fancy SUV, not a Porsche Cayenne. It doesn't look like one of those. What kind of car that is? Prius. <laughs> it's not a Prius. A Ford Fiesta. Dude, and cut her off, dude. Oh, whatever, dude. It looked like she was just merging. People are so fucking over dramatic. But in 2022, she cut off her hair, which meant no more fucking ponytails. The ponytails are gone, Nick. Let's get shit. But no one saw this coming. No one saw this tidal wave of her neck. When she got a bunch of fake tattoos. Evolutionary step, which was a big one. It was that, I would say it was comparable. I know she says in some stuff that she takes influences from Miley Cyrus in that transition. And it was a bold step with TikTok and the internet. They're dragging that bitch left and right. She dropped the Karma music video. This shit's damn near is borderline explicit. <laughs> Got this lonely ass islands, a CG mess. She it's not even like a fucking explicit thing though. It's like I don't know. Yo, Jojo, if you ever want to collab, we could go to we could go to Kensington in Philly and buy some like horse trank or something together. I you know we could we could do a vlog. You know if you wanna if you wanna do the edgy if you wanna go the edgy route. You know, we could go we could go to Kensington and maybe maybe see what we could find, you know, walk up to to the guy on the corner that's wearing like a weirdly thick hoodie and kind of like holding something in his pocket and, and just hand him like fifty bucks, see what he gives you. Then we go, you know, this little mystery bag, you know, a little draw. What are you gonna get? She's basically um Is it fentanyl? Is it Xanax? Is it Molly? I don't know. It's a white pill. We don't know what it is. I'm just gonna play this part. It's unbelievable. It it I mean, the, the the humping is so unnecessary. All right, so the first lyrics to the song are. I <laughs> Shit's damn near is borderline explicit. Got this lonely ass islands, a CG Yo, mess. That She's one, that was so random. Basically, I'm just gonna play this part. It's unbelievable. I mean, the, the, the humping is so unnecessary. All right, so the first lyrics to this song are, I'm a bad girl, I did some bad things. Let me tell you something. I really have no easy way to say this, so I'm just gonna go out and say it. I've met some rough lesbians in my day. I mean, they called them in the lesbian community, they called them Rottweilers. I'm a bad girl, I've done some bad things. Rottweilers? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you what is it what does that even mean i can tell already joe they called them rottweilers in the lesbian community i have to look that up it doesn't even show up on tiktok it does it's a search yeah, but there's nothing under it. Fuck, what does that even mean? Jojo Siwa has not eaten pussy before. She's come out of the closet. She's talking about this whole album's about queer pop and that she's changed her identity. Papa Meat just dissed you on live? Bro, what? Is he live? Don't fuck with me. I love Papa Meat. Did he actually diss me? What did he say? I'm gonna cry. If he actually makes fun of me, I'll cry. What did he say? They're lying. Clip it and send it to my mod. If he doesn't like me, I'll be so upset. Is he even live? He said your laugh sucks. But he, that didn't mean he dissed me, though. He said you were stinky. One of my mods looked back in the VOD, looked back in his VOD and check if he dissed me. I'll be so upset. There's no way that's a rug muncher. I've seen some Rottweilers, dude. Motherfucker's got chapped lips. I'm looking at that. She has the same cheat teeth as like Joe Biden. She's got some crazy veneers for like a 20 year old. Some crazy. He said you were a doo doo head. Dude, if I like, if Papa Meat was like, Joe's reacts suck. I don't like when he watches my videos. I would stop watching his videos. If he said that, I would stop. I, I would stop watching them on stream. I would still watch his videos, but I would be so upset. I would make me cry. Like, I would actually, I, th I think that would actually make me cry. Papa Me is my favorite YouTuber. Like, swear to God.
$50,000 veneers. They're $50,000 for veneers? That's what it amounts? She said. It's that bow money, dude. Oh, God, please. Mods, look. Mods, look and let me know. Mods, look and let me know, please. Mods. Mods, I'll cry. Most expensive thing I'm wearing my teeth. Cost me 50 grand. Dude, if I had 50 grand, I'd fix You didn't read my bits? Booty for the sub corrupted for the three. She stole the song for Britney Smith just to sing about how she cheated on her ex girlfriend and that she'd want to take her back, but she can't because she's with a diff girl now. It's in the lyrics. Only in Little for the Sub, Mystic for the Sub. So she did tweak the lyrics slightly, is what you're saying? QC for the three. I need to wake up at six hours for work. I live on the other side of the world, but still always watch the full stream. Lands and arc for the sub raider for the three. I got stood up last night, made a reservation at a night restaurant for the nice restaurant, and like the past four months has been the hardest ever, but you always make it a little bit better. Well, I'm sorry you're going through that, man. I'm sorry you got stood up. But, you know, I mean, I'm glad I could help in any way that I could. Bacon for the sub corrupted for the three. Uh, did I miss any other bits? I don't know. I also have to take a fat fucking piss. So count me down 30 seconds, chat. I'm sorry. I've been chugging this water. I'm not playing more of the weekend. We're done playing the fucking weekend. Count me down 30 seconds. We're back. Dude, my room still reeks of weed. Jesus, dude. Booty for the sub. My room fucking reeks. Oh, he said he doesn't know you? Tell him I love him. No, they're all spamming in his chat. Stop. Stop. It's my main bitch. Stop. You should be like, yeah, yeah, how the fuck are you? are supposed to be like, I don't how even the fuck follow are you supposed him? to know who Joe is? I'm supposed to say. People yeah, you're a people pleaser, my ass. Holy shit. Unfucking believable. <laughs> you're a sheep. Oh I'm my sheep god, I'm dude. dick riding. I'm, I'm dick I riding. So easily Stop sorry. it! That's why. I'm telling you later, I'm like, I would be a terrible jerk. Oh. Like, I mean, he He's kind of sad. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it'd be the fucking worst thing. Yeah, exactly. On a jury, they'd be like <laughs> a fucking convicted murderer. It's like he gets teary eyed, and I'm like, oh my god. I hate, like, you, guys. I so hate you guys. I fucking hate you guys. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? I would have voted like OJ was innocent. Oh god. <laughs> I don't know. I, I Even with the facts I know now, if I could go back, I'd still say he was innocent. I would. Dare I say? Well, you wouldn't. <laughs> oh, okay. So you must have been there. You must have been there. So you know that she. And also, the guy just fucking... And you know what? The guy just... He just died, Allison. The guy who was proven innocent, by the way, w was just died. And you have to say that he's guilty still. Oh, my God. You know what, Allison? I hate to say... Are you racist? All right, we're leaving. Stop spamming in his chat, chat. Seriously. Harry for the sub. Mods, ban anybody in his chat that keeps spamming in my... Ban, ban anybody in my chat that keeps spamming in his chat. Fuck. Mods, just ban my whole chat. Ban mods, mods, mods. Just ban everybody. Mods, get them out of here. Mods, get out. Ban yourself. Mods. Fix this. These donkey teeth I have. These fucking absolute fucking chompers, dude. This razor wire in my mouth. Hell yeah, I would fucking do that. Are you kidding me? If, if you're gonna lie about this thing about being a fucking, like crazy lesbian pop star and stuff like that, chat the lips up a little bit. Just a little bit. A little more aged. Get a little sandpaper. A little DW40. Just. Right, no big deal. Also, I'm pretty sure this whole song is about how she cheated on somebody. There was a bitch getting back at her. How old is JoJo Siwa? Is she older than me? She's probably like a year younger than me. She's 20. Yeah. She was born in 2003. I was going to say, me and her are probably in the, probably in the same grade.
What's I mean? Where so the whole thing is about karma's a bitch getting back at her, even though she cheated on somebody, or she did bad things before and somebody cheated on her. I don't know. Let's go to genius.com and see. Should we? Let's look at it, dude. Dude, I love the genius videos when they show um like a rapper explaining their lyrics that are so unneeding of an explanation. And it'll be like a fucking Yeet song. Not a Yeet song. It, like, what's like a rapper that did like 24K Golden when he explained his lyrics? Like, I fucked with his music, but it was like very straightforward. Like, wait, hold up. 24K Golden Valentino lyrics. I don't want a Valentine. I just want Valentino. I just want the neck. I poke her face like a casino. Deep throat, no, I get it in like a free throw. Shoddy wants some more. She just can't seem to get her knees closed. And they needed to bring him on to explain that, right? So, like, what I meant by that was, like, like, bro, she couldn't keep her knees closed, right? Like, she was, like, she was, like, you know, like, she couldn't keep her knees closed. Like, they're just going to repeat the same thing. Somebody said, L stream, you're boring. All right, Liam. Fuck off. Fucking <laughs> don't be here then. Booty and Harry for, for the sub. You're here under your own volition. You could fucking dip if you didn't want to be here, Liam. Here. Oh, Liam. fuck. I'm burping, dude. Just fucking, oh my god, dude. <laughs> Hold up. Yeah, no, just ban anybody that's spamming in Papa's chat. Like, people are still spamming. Like, swear to God, just ban them. Okay, I was a bad girl. I did some bad things. I swear I did off a of fun and it meant nothing. It never happened. It was a secret. Okay. Like when a tree falls in the forest, no one hears it. Another late night, another crazy mood, and I didn't think twice what it would do to you. Cheating. I was a wild child, you always knew it. The bitch sells bows at Walmart. I was a wild child, you always knew it. Karma's a bitch, I should've known better. If I had a wish, I would've never effed around. I would've never effed around. Can't just say f***ed around on your coming out album? She's not that old. She's 20. She's 20. She can't say the F word yet. If I had a wish, I would've never fucked around. Why not, dude? I like how you kind of squinted like you were like, yeah, that would be better. No, no. When I saw the pics of you and her, I felt the knife twist. Karma's a bitch and she's with you right now. You know what it is? She cheated on the girl. The girl left her for another person. It checks out, dude. It's a catchy ass song, I'm supposed to tell you. There's a lot of people coming after her, dude. Her bad dancing, sure. It's very aggressive. It's way too aggressive. There's a lot of videos of her online where she's doing it in her rehearsals and it's just like, God. Well, I don't think she's a bad dancer. She's had a fucking entire career of basically dancing and fucking singing. But I mean, I think the the choice of dance they chose for the music video. What is it called when a bunch of people are in public? And they just randomly start break dance, or, or like they're they're like unison in unison, and they're wearing like regular clothes, and then they all like strip down like a flash mob. Yeah, that's what she did, right? It's like flash mob dancing, like that bullshit where like they're trying to get your attention, so they'll be like, <laughs> and they'll stomp in unison and shit. It's like entirely unneeded, but it's just you know to show hey. We're dancing right now, so you fucking look at us. God damn, dude. To have that young neck again. I remember when I was at metal shows and I would headbang like this. I mean, that bitch is thrashing and bashing, dude. It's a Rottweiler in the making. She put a little warning label. It says, warning, the following content is not made for children and may be disturbing or offensive to some may viewers. Be disturbing or offensive. Like, we're about to witness some fucking horror shit. May contain, contain sexual themes. Of, may contain... It does contain, contains sexual themes, violence, strong language, traumatic scenarios, and flashing lights. May contain- Dude, if I read this before I went into a movie theater, I'd be like, I'm fucking setting myself up for some Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm getting ready to fucking watch some hardcore, possibly like, borderline wanna close my eyes shit.
Right. I like it may contain sexual themes. Just say it contains sexual themes, violence, strong language, traumatic scenarios, and flashing lights. <laughs> Viewer discretion is advised. Jesus Christ, what the f are you getting ready to post, dude? It's a goddamn music video. You know what I mean? Like, we see another child stars attempt the quote unquote go bad and break free from the childhood image, right? Miley Cyrus did the same back in 2013. Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Olivia Rodrigo. Olivia Rodrigo is even. I mean, Olivia Rodrigo is like. Big, isn't she like big and popular right who's the one woman they cast in every movie right now and also britney spears i didn't even think she went into the bad girl era i thought she just became a drug addict who's that one girl that's in every fucking movie right now jenna ortega she is in it too many things now okay i have to put my foot down right every fucking movie that's coming out in in the last two years I feel like every movie just has Jenna Ortega, right? Like every movie I want to see, she was in fucking, obviously Wednesday, Scream, she was in Scream, Scream 6, she was in X, she was in the Fallout, Iron Man, well that was Iron Man 3, it was a long time ago, Beetlejuice, which is coming up, Finest Kind, she was in so many fucking movies. Maybe just movies that I've seen, but I feel like every movie that I fucking see recently is Jenna Ortega in it, as headliner. Christina Aguilera, Olivia Rodrigo. I just, I, if you didn't mention Christina Aguilera back in 2013, I would never remember her. Britney Spears, Christina. Like, if you just never said Christina Aguilera's name, I would never, it would never pop back in my mind. Like, if you never mentioned Miley Cyrus, there would be a day where I'd be like, oh, you know, Miley Cyrus, I forgot about Miley Cyrus. I'm, Christina Aguilera, who the fuck is that? Aguilera, Olivia Rodrigo. Olivia Rodrigo is even dipping a, t a toe towards being edgy with her songs about breaking up with boys and wanting to be with the girls and being free. <laughs> yeah, that's why if I were a kid, I'm just like, we're not even gonna start with all this pussy shit, dude. We're going straight to the source. Have my kid do lines and lines of. Oh cut. yeah, dude. I, if if I if I was like a PR guy for fucking jojo and she was like i want to be edgy i'd say get somebody filming you doing coke right just do a line of just you know maybe go to a club get blackout drunk and fucking throw up and pass out on the floor maybe you know if you want to be seen as like not a kid anymore just get like so fucked right just like just do something that's just gonna be like oh this was horrible Oak. Start singing about that. Start boxing, cockfighting, fight some chickens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just start, start a cockfighting ring. <laughs> start, start shit. Yeah, that would be edgy. That would be like a fucking jump scare, dude. Imagine one day JoJo Siwa going from bows and like the ponytails to she's running an underground cockfighting ring. I that would be like what the fuck. Fight a baby and fight a lethal rooster. I don't think the baby wins that. A baby versus a rooster? Yeah. Yeah, a baby. Oh, baby versus a rooster. Rooster murders it. At what age could an infant kill a rooster? Three. I think a two year old dies to a big rooster. I think a three year old could reasonably grab it and probably just fucking choke it to death. Versus a rooster and a cockfighting rooster? That rooster will tear that. You don't think, a, you, you, you think so? <laughs> yeah. Okay, what if it was like, what if it's a one-year-old? Would a one-year-old beat a cockfighting rooster? No. Does the one-year-old also have like those little punching bags? That Just their hands. I'm thinking that a child could not beat a rooster until they were five. But my kid will be able to. Five? I think that's, I think that's very. A five-year-old could be like three feet tall. A five-year-old could be like here. A five-year-old could probably kill, like, four roosters at once. Beat a rooster whenever they're three. Because you'll three. You'll be training. Yes. Okay. And they'll sing about it, and that's going to be their first. That'll be their first hit. Cockfight. But it's just about having the gall to be able to grab that little muff by the throat. <coughs> Stop him. And it's probably going to claw at you. And you know what? People like to make fun of JoJo C singing because of this clip of her in the car. Granted, I wouldn't have posted it, but at the same time, dude, hard song. You are still a train. <laughs> no, no.
gotta breathe, dude. She's getting ready to pass the f out, dude. All red in the face. What's the song she can sing, dude? Come on. Oh my god, she's raspy today. Oh my god, she's raspy today. But the reason people are so mad is because the way she's been acting and speaking- That looks so uncomfortable to wear, bro. Oh my god, to have your hair up like that and all this makeup on it. I'd be fucking clawing for this fucking- whatever video thing this is to be fucking over so I can take that shit off. Speaking on this promotional tour she's on, and it has been an onslaught of cringe. She's making it so we cannot look away, and to me that is not fair. Every pop person that you see, for the majority of the part, I know there's gonna be some people that, no, they write their own music, has people that write it for them. They buy songs, they do all kinds of shit. People give each other songs. It's like, it's just, it's the name of the game. And I don't fault the people for playing the game. I mean, that's, that's a lot of fucking musicians. Buying songs, buying I mean, obviously buying beats, but also just having people make up your own lyrics. At the end of the day, it's the voice. It doesn't really matter who the fuck wrote it. I think the only... What are artists that... Name the artists that write their own songs. I know Taylor Swift. Who else writes their own music? Probably Kanye. Maybe M Eminem when he was in his fucking shit. Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, Charlie Puth. Ed Sheeran. I don't know if Ed Sheeran... Are you sure Ed Sheeran writes his own music? I think any of the radio songs are fucking written by, like, PR managers, dude. Metro Boomin. Well, I mean, he's, Metro's also in music with, like, I feel like I've never heard a Metro Boomin song that's just a Metro Boomin song. I feel like every time I've ever heard Metro Boomin, it's, like, four other fucking rappers. And then he'll get on the mic and he'll be like, <laughs> yeah, he got that deep-ass voice. Let me play a Metro song. Where is he? Where the fuck is Metro in that song? Out there. It's like a night ain't like I asking you to ride for free. He's a producer. Isn't Metro Boomin an artist? That's Metro Boomin. That's Future? I thought that was Metro Boomin for my entire life. That's Future. You're not fucking with me, chat. What? Yo, I swear to God, I always thought... Then who the fuck is this guy? Hold up. Tell me who this is. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Tell me who this is. That's 21. Who is this? That's Don Tolliver? Oh my God. I never know, bro. I never know. When I heard type shit, hold up. Swear to God, I thought that was Metro Boomin. I I thought that was Metro Boomin. Who that's future. That's a fake fan. I never said I was a fan of fucking Metro Boomin, buddy. <laughs> let's, so let's settle down here. I never said I was a fan of Future or Metro Boomin. I said I listened to some of their music. I never said I was a fucking fan of those motherfuckers. I would if I said I was a fan of them, I'd know. Okay, so who is this? Not that. Who is this? Who is this? That's a Playboy Cardi. How do you guys immediately know? That's creepy, dude. That's creepy. I know, like, other rap. Like, I could tell you, like, fucking easily who, like, Kendrick is. I could say who Nas is. I could fucking immediately know who Kid Cudi is. Like, those are the people that I'm listening to. Even, like, Nardo Wick or Duty Low. Like, I would know those motherfuckers. J.I.D. I'd know 21 Savage, Key Glock. Like, I'd know if they're on the mic. I don't even know the other motherfuckers. Because they're always with each other, too. They always make the fucking same... They're always, they're always the same fucking trio. So I never know who's fucking talking. I always thought Future was Metro. Jank for the sub, Plebsy for the three. Amount of people still spamming and Papa's chat is actually crazy. His viewers are saying, F Joe, you should make his own content. Chat's being a big L today. 
Baby Harry and Booty for the sub corrupted for the three. Yeah, no, my chat's being a bunch of shitters right now. Uh, for real though. Like, that's actually whack. If motherfuckers are doing that. All right, lock back in here, chat. <sighs> lock back in here. I don't want Papa's people to fucking hate me either. Sorry, Joe. Well, you're you're trying to get Papa me to fucking hate me, so it's like kind of annoying. Aim and making, you know, or his fans too. It's like you're going into his chat and fucking spamming. It's annoying, right? Uh, and I'm dead serious, mods. If you ever see anybody spamming his chat about me or some bullshit, just ban them here. Just fucking perma ban them here. Deny the request. I don't give a shit if they're two years sub. That's just fucking cringe. This is just doing, just doing too much for no reason. Just trying to fucking pit people against each other. It's fucking cringe. Eric, music or anything like that. Whatever, dude. Literally L chat, dude. Not even you guys. Like, I'm talking to people that do that, which there are people in this chat. Those are the L chatters. If it's catchy, it's catchy. And if it makes you a bunch of fucking money, then it's who, who cares? Whenever you go on a whole onslaught about how this album is about your transformation as a person, it's about- Joe wants to be friends with him so bad. I don't need to be friends with him, bro. I don't care if he fucking, like, wants to, wants to be my friend. I'm just saying I don't want to be on a bad standing because I like his content, right? Like, I enjoy watching Papa Me, right? So it's like, I, I say that, and then I, like, go look at his stream, and motherfuckers are just spamming his chat trying to be annoying. Like, dead ass. Perma ban anybody that spams in his chat. Uh, you coming out, it's about artistic flavor and basically putting yourself out there. Like, actually just annoying. Motherfucker said, sorry, Joe. I'm going to time your ass out. Like, I, like that makes me want to ban you because that means you did it. Also, you look too young to use Twitch, so I kind of already want to ban you. I just clicked your profile. You look 10. And I'm not even dissing you when I say that, bro. I'm saying, like, you do not look old enough to use Twitch. Like, holy fucking shit. How old are you? I just turned 22. Oh, my God. All right, lock the fuck back in here, chat. Jesus, dude. Okay. Lock back in. And saying that you're a very, I guess, honest and reputable person to me, I'm like, you better have something to be able to back it up. And this cringy campaign is like a horrible, horrible car wreck. Okay, hard to look away, very, very hard to look away from the WWE Kiss inspired makeup. You know, even though she doesn't know who Gene Simmons is, which is like, I get people are young, but it's like you haven't heard Gene Simmons one time. You're wearing this outfit and you haven't heard of Gene Simmons once in your life. Or granted, Gene Simmons is a fucking dick. Say what you will about Kiss, I like. I like a couple Kiss songs. Would I ever want to hang out with him in a room? Oh, absolutely not. No, sir. But I would at least put a little respect on Gene Simmons' name. But there's just been a lot of cringe, dude. I yeah, mean, yeah, this is what I remember: the fake tattoos and like the whole like change up. I'm calling the people in the Titanic submarine. The situation, the submersible, that whole thing. I'm calling them. It's like giving. Yeah, I remember seeing that video, and I think it was like her saying if she could go back in time, where where would she go? And she was like, or talk to anybody. She said the people on the Titanic. I feel like that's a fucking boring ass. I, you know, obviously it's a subjective take. Like if you could go back in time and talk to anybody from an era, who would you talk to? I would say, you know, ancient Egypt or like fucking the first president or like any monumental, like the Titanic is a very known thing, but why go, why go back and talk to, yeah, Jesus, Muhammad, go to, go talk Buddha, fucking talk to somebody that's like, you know, like historically changed society like the t the titanic i'm gonna go talk to somebody and say how's the boat sinking that sucked you froze to death right like i'm not dissing the titanic i'm saying i would there, i would rather not go back and talk to them martin luther king yeah there's so many other people a tiktok account to a 98 year old man <laughs> mr <laughs> beast he's alive now and in some kind of misery dude you could talk to anybody in, in the entire world dead or alive and you choose mr beast Chat, you can talk to anybody in the world, dead or alive. Who are you talking to? Probably fucking Jesus, dude. Probably Jesus, man. I'm probably going back and I'm going to say, all right, man, prove it. Prove it. He's going to prove what? You know? He's like, what do you mean? You know? Oh, he go oh. oh. <laughs> he, like, doesn't know what I'm talking about. You pr prove what? And that's what I would do, though. I'd want to know. You know, I'd be like, tell me if you're capping or not. You know? Fucking f make this wine. Right? Actually, preferably a, a 
preferably, you know, a white wine, not a red wine. If you could make a pina, you know, I would appreciate that more. But, you know, if, if, you, if you're only able to make it a red wine, that's fine. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll still drink it. I'm just saying, if you were going to make this, if you were to turn this, I, you know, I want you to turn the water into wine to prove that, that you're Jesus. But if you are, if you're going to change it into a wine, could you preferably make it like a sweet white wine instead of like a fucking dry red? I don't really like dry reds. Dude, that's what I feel like with these. It's just so aggressive, dude. Be gentler on your neck. I have no real other way of saying this besides just saying, like, if you want to dance, your dance, it's whatever. It's just an objectively not good dance. I'm sorry. It's just not. It's just it's just kind of a shitty, stupid-looking dance. Oh, there you go. This person's dancing. looks nice. Who it is, dude. And I get this thing, too. It's, it's those stiff bones, dude. If I did the dance, too, it would probably look a lot like it. JoJo is leaning on Karma to signify her bad girl turn. This is a big pivotal moment in a pop star's career that this is a make or break moment. Do you think she'll get a lot of tickets sold for her con if she does like a concert? This is the moment where do people take you seriously or are you just a little goofball? But I mean, she'd probably have to have an album at that point. You, that still sells bows at Walmart. This is also her artistic expression, even though a company paid for everything. She didn't make any of her actual songs. She had a choreographer make and fabricate everything that she's doing. I am. Oh, my God. The fucking hat, dude. I can't stand that fucking hat. Oh, my God. And she just like every for the interview. She's just going like she's like anytime she turned her head. It would just all fucking wave in her face. She'd be like, what's going on in my hat? What's going on in my head? I don't know. Nobody knows. Giving the world art. It's her coming out album, Nick. Who she is as a person. No one's done queer pop. No one ever. And to have someone like JoJo come out and change the game and give these people a voice and be able to step forward for what their changes as a human being is truly admirable. And I'm just so glad that Dude, she's he's brought this so music many people. to light. This new genre of music that has never existed before, ever, not one time, literally just happened in the year 2024. Wow. Yeah, I feel like queer pop's been going on for a while. Yeah. Like, like fucking before we were born and like possibly when your parents were born. Sad for the sub. Take not your parents were born. That would be way too far back. That George. Yeah, like David Bowie. Bush. David Bowie, the drums, like, like old. Probably like the like the the seventies or the eighties. When was da when but was David got Bowie making music? When JoJo told Billboard in an interview that she wants to make a new genre of music called gay pop. My first time with Columbia, I said I wanted to start a new genre of music, and they said, "What do you mean?" And I said, "Well, it's called gay pop." And they were like, "What's that?" And I was like, "It's like K-pop, right? But it's yeah. gay pop." And uh, this is her trying to clarify this statement because that shit took the storm here. I gotta ask you about the gay pop. Yes. A lot of people have come for you. Do yeah. you do you retract what you said? Have Whoa. you have you? Why do people come for you for that? Literally, what did I do? Here's the thing. I'd be like, I'm not dissing your voice, but it sounds like when I've like smoked. What, dude, there was like a a point in time when I was like smoking joints every day, and I was losing my voice so much, and I feel like she like it sounds like she's been screaming all the time and like smoking cigarettes. Like, like, I, I, I fucking felt awful when I woke up. Not felt awful, but my voice fucking felt terrible. And I just started chugging water. And if I, like, started, if I smoked how I smoked yesterday, like, five days in a row, I feel like I would sound, like, raspy. I support world peace. <laughs> and the world would be like, you Do you think anybody would actually say you're an asshole for saying I want world peace? You're an asshole! Maybe she wants to put a little respect on gay pop. People are all upset about it. I mean, it's an ignorant thing to say. That sounded like four years ago right there. It's an interesting thing to say. That's what JoJo Siwa started talking about gay pop. <laughs> you know, man, mama said life's like a mama said life's like a gay pop CD. You don't know which track you're gonna get. It's just another tone deaf thing about like you just assume people don't know that Freddie Mercury is gay. The guy who died of literal of AIDS. AIDS during the AIDS crisis. Lady Gaga. I mean, like, dude, I'm like all kinds of shit. The entire 80s were filled with gay pop. You know what I mean? But after coming out as a lesbian in 2021, JoJo is making that a big part of her identity. She came out in 2021. Dude, I feel like that was so fucking re. I feel like she came out like last year. It was that long ago? That was fucking three years ago.
community during her rebrand. Initially, she came out as pansexual, which Miley also did in 2016. JoJo, you think we don't see you trying to be Miley, bitch? This song is special. Karma is special. I was very afraid of the lyrics of Karma. I wasn't ready to say I was. Do you think she actually finds the song special, though? I always, I always wonder when a musician, like, hypes up their music and it just fucking flops, do they still stand by it? Like, if you had JoJo Siwa in a room and it was like, no recording, no mic, you're best friends, and you were like, hey, do you actually like your song? Do you think she'd say, yeah, that shit's fire, or no, I, it's, it's a money grab? I think she would say she liked it. I think she's an artist that, pro that would probably stand by... I think she enjoys the song. She probably listens to the song. But there's definitely a lot of artists. Like, name an artist that made a really fucking shit flop song. I can't even think of one. Other than, like, one-hit wonders that made just, like, fucking terrible follow-ups. Because they didn't know anything else to, like, come back with. Oh, Lil Pump. Yeah, what's that one Lil Pump song where it was, like, him and Kanye and they were, like, in Minecraft suits? Like, do you think Lil Pump thinks Gucci Gang is a good song? I gotta read the lyrics to that. Gucci Gang lyrics. Yo, oh, burr, burr. Gucci Gang, oh. Yo, Lil Pump, yeah. Gucci Gang, oh. Yo, burr, burr. Gucci Gang, 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 Gucci Gang. Spend three racks on a new chain. My bitch love do cocaine. I fuck a bitch. I forgot her name. I can't buy a bitch. No wedding ring. Brett, that wouldn't actually rhyme. I I wanna I wanna I wanna I wanna also just say that doesn't rhyme, right? Like I said, rang. But if I read it how it's actually said, I fuck a bitch. Forgot her name. Can't buy a bitch. No wedding ring, right? But if they say rang, it kind of sounds like it rhymes with the previous line. Rather go and buy Balmain's Gucci Gang. He says Gucci Gang fucking 15 more times. The same line, the same chorus that I just said. My lean costs more than your rent. Your mom still live in a tent. Okay, that's kind of fire. Still slang a dope in the jet. In the jests? What does that even mean? Me and my grandma take meds. None of this shit. Yeah, I be taking the same shit my grandma on. I mean, eat, I've been fucking eating that fucking, that Valium, that fucking Xanax prescribed, bitch. I got fucking bad sight, too. I, I got pain behind my eyes. I've been taking fucking Xanax for that shit. None of this shit be new to me. Fucking my teacher called it tutory. Bought some red bottoms, cost hella G's. Fuck your airline, fuck your company. Okay, it does rhyme. The lyrics aren't bad. The lyrics aren't bad, but the fucking, the song itself. What was the one, though, that he did with uh, Kanye? Was that Gucci Gang? No. He did one with Kanye, and it was horrible. I love it. Yeah, I love it by Lil Pump. What are the lyrics to that? I need to fucking hear that shit. Because, you know, in the old days, they couldn't say the shit they wanted to say. They had to fake orgasms and shit. We can tell N-words today, hey, I want to come, motherfucker. You're such a fucking hoe, I love it three times. Your boyfriend is a dork, McLovin. I pulled up in a ghost, fucked that bitch up out in London. Then I fucked up on her cousin or her sister. I don't know nothing. Me and my N-words getting ignorant like a lighter bitch. We ignorant, whatever that means. All this water on my neck looked like I fell when I went fishing. So much diamonds on my bus down. Oh, fuck. What time is it? Me and smoke perp sip and drank. Oh, fuck. She take lines. That doesn't even rhyme. That doesn't even rhyme. Let me read Yeet's lyrics. Money, my money so... My money big body. My money Tonka. No, I don't need you. I really don't want you. My money be twerking. My money do dances. Shut up, I heard you. I don't want to answer. You ruin everything. You touch you a cancer. Yeah, I'm on the side where we win. No. You not that guy because I'm him. Yeah. I ride that big body right, right out the lot. It's a GLE. Came with a tent. I don't want to hear none of that shit. This song sucks.
You guys, this song is fucking trash. This is worse than Little Pumps. Little Pumps. I don't want to hear none of that shit saying you cap out your chinny chin chin. I'm rocking the latest designer, the finest of fur. That's the chinchilla skin. They trying to cop the wave, I told. Them, they can't even surf a wave on it. They steady be copping my sound. They some birds. They a parrot, if I'm being honest. Why you been capping about your whole life? How is you rapping about a whole lie? None of this rhymes! Why you been capping about your whole life? How you been rapping about a whole lie? I feel like I, if you gave me a week, I could make the song better. And just rhyme everything. Kaylin, sad and janky for the sub. The bad girl. I wasn't afraid to say I was a bad girl, dude. I'm telling you. There's no way that she has actually cheated on anyone, too. The Karma is a scrapped Miley Cyrus song from 2012 that she bought and seemingly changed one word to. Nah, now I actually need to fucking compare it to Drake. Drake lyrics. Drake, let me do like, um... What's like a good Drake song? I don't want to do one that's basic. But I, Drake sucks. Kiki, not, let's not do Kiki. Let me do like Key Glock. I'll do Key Glock Russian Cream. That's like, that's like a good song. Hey, I need some more Russians. Yeah, the five pack. I got Big Rocks jumping out my brand new Paytech watch. Ice, ice, baby. I got a whole lot. N word. You got a, you a nobody. You ain't got no bodies. These, and I'm not even going to say, I'm just going to say N word. They know about it. These N. No about me. Step up on the scene. Diamonds bling. These hoes scream. Check it. Check board. Louis V. I'm so fresh. So clean, clean. Stuff them in. Stuff them bands in my jeans. Slap them 30s. Then in them things. Pull the trigger. Let it sing. Then go smoke a Russian cream. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. I fucking read that. Like, I know it sounds shit when I, when I read it. But, like. Now nah, that that like flows. It flows. All right, we're done. We're done with that. We got to lock back in. Out of the entire or cut all that shit out. Your song if this ends up becoming a video, I don't even know yet. Brendello for the thread. Look up Psycho CEO by Yeet. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to read the lyrics and I'm not looking up any other fucking songs before people try to recommend me. Yeah, 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 my diamonds jump. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 my diamonds talk. Uh, yeah, my money long. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my money tall. Uh, heard it's tall as God. Heard you trying to come rock with us. We don't know who you are. Let's get disrespectful. Let's get disrespectful. You have, you better have self-respect when you talk to me. Ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I'm gonna cut you off. Cut you off when you're talking to me. Cut you out my car. Cut you out of my life. This is, f this is like slam poetry. I'm reading slam poetry. All right, maybe it's just not, it don't even got a rhyme. That one's not that bad when you listen to it. Brody for the five. It's crazy I was bumping the Lil Pump in fifth grade. His lyrics were crazy. I remember I saw Lil Pump at a Miami airport, and I almost shit myself when I was like fucking 10. She's had for how many years now? Four years? Oh, there's a breakdown of the like song? Right when he got big. What the fuck? This is how it went down with my new song and music video, Karma. And this song is so special. She, she keeps saying it's so special. I knew that I wanted this song to be not only a part of my life, but part of my life in such a massive way, in such a big picture. It's the same shit with like the Vogue 73 question thing, whatever. These fucking celebrities just have a literal script that they work off of because they can't just have a genuine moment ever. If you're reiterating the same thing over and over again, or if like you have a script that you're paying- Yeah, why can't they just say a take? It's like literally, literally the Vogue stuff. You described that perfectly. Like you remember when we saw that house, uh, like any house tour? of a famous person they're like oh and this and then they always have like a scripted line just be like this is my fucking weed room this is where i get high and shit this is where like i fucking watch cartoons and shit and like my animes and i'd be like i'd be watching one piece in this room right instead they'll be like this is this is the living area 
this is where I put it in. You can see the screen comes out here, and it really just... It, it, it facilitates a good vibe, bitch. It's a good place to be high at. Like, the fuck? Just Eight say four. that. Whatever. But it's insane to go on these shows and regurgitate this. Lil Pump was 11 when you were 10. I don't even know how old I was. I saw Lil Pump at a Miami airport when I was, like, young. Same thing over Whenever and over again. Whenever his first you song came You don't have one other. Like, his good first. It was probably, like, 2015. Lil Pump. First song. Yeah, in 2016 is when I, when I saw Lil Pump. And he was eating a pizza. And he had pink pants on. I remember it. Other thing to say about this breakout song, Karma. This song that's- You gonna pick with him? Nah, everybody was swarming him. And I also just didn't give a fuck then, right? I thought it was cool, but I was like, oh, it's Lil Pump, right? This be your literal transition from child to an adult, basically. Like, in terms of how people perceive you. And it's just the exact same thing reiterated over and over again. It's just, like, disgusting. Honestly, it makes me fucking disgusted. Some kind of fucked up dance here, just like you're grinding on somebody. Have you seen any, like, pop music video in the last- in 30 years, people are popping their pussies all over the place. Watch one Ice Spice video. She'd probably get all bricked up over that, wouldn't she? The whole Ice Spice concert is just fucking twerking, dude. Any clip I see on TikTok of Ice Spice, she's just shaking ass on stage. People are fucking losing it. Yeah. <laughs> God, man. Whoa. Which there is another artist named Brit Smith who sang the exact song, the exact same song back That's in That's her trademark? Well, yeah. 2012. Joe Wait, it's literally the same song. Never another pop star's as Karma is the brainchild of the producing team Rock Mafia. Joe confirmed the song was never another pop star's as Karma is the brainchild of the producing team Rock Mafia who created hits for Miley, Selena Gomez, and Demi Lovato, among others. She defended, quote, I didn't steal anything. There's no such thing as stealing. I also don't know who Brit Smith is. <laughs> what a bitch. You can't just be like, yeah, it's her song. Pop. Artists buy songs all the time. Just, be, yeah, I bought her song. Thought it was great. I thought it was applicable to my life. Even if that's, is that even a genuine feeling? Or did my team say that my transition into an adult and being gay, was that, is this also a fabrication? I don't know. Conspiracy Meat? New series, Conspiracy Meat? This song is supposed to be so special to her and whatever else. And it's a JoJo Siwa song, right? It's unbelievably frustrating because you're saying the song's about cheating on an ex and the like your ex getting together with somebody else. And it's about this, this queer identity that's coming together. And it's about, I want people to take me seriously, mid -me, I'm an adult and I want them to know I'm artistic and talented. But the entire song that you bought is fabricated. It's wrote by someone else. There's not... Yeah, it's like she's, you can apply, I mean, that's the same thing with like a tattoo or just any song ever, really. You could apply whatever meaning to something you want, right? Like you can ascribe an opinion about what, like even with like reading, right? You could assume this is what they meant, right? This is what they meant. Uh, no, I disagree. And then you could say the opposite, right? I'm fucking rambling here. But basically you could derive any meaning out of anything that you want. So I'm not saying that she can't say that that application of the Karma song applies to her sexual identity or gender or anything of those sorts, but it makes it less real when it's not a song she wrote and a song that came from somebody else she tweaked a little bit and then posted. It could still apply that to her, but to say that it has this monumental change in her life makes it seem less real. Not an original thought going through your goddamn head. And the craziest part is she's being rewarded for it over and over again. It's insane. It's absolutely crazy. Think about every other artist on planet Earth right now who's made a song over some kind of express. It could be about anything. I want to die. At least it's their own thought. It's at least, at least it's, a, it's an emblance of a piece of their human story that's put down into song, even if it fucking sucks. At least it's their own. If this was the same thing, I'd be like, hey, it's about it's just about a person who's just, you you know what they're they like to eat pussy sometimes or used to be a child star now they're a big now they're a big pop star Ooh, they're an adult pop star it's all a lie it's all a lie it's all a lie if you're a young and impressionable kid what does this do what does this do for you a lie. <laughs> trust me just lie and buy your way through anything you can do anything in life if you just lie your way through it jojo has said miley cyrus is her idol and no one from her generation has had a career flip like miley cyrus has no oh yeah i would say no one's had a career flip like miley has no one has not her made in my generation this 
extreme of a switch. No, see, that's what she's saying. She's, oh my God, Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus has. Obviously, yeah, Generation Gen, a Gen X, or not Gen X, Gen Z. But like, if you're saying, hey, nobody in my generation has this big of a flip. Yeah, no shit, because the oldest people in Gen Z are like 26. The fuck? Like, nobody's gonna have had that big of a switch in Gen Z because we haven't had time to have that big of a switch. I could, I could become a crackhead in 10 years. We don't know yet. That's kind of in the cards, you know? And <laughs> so, like, Miley Cyrus is like 40 now. You could be, are you sad you're Gen Z? No. But I'm saying like to say, oh, nobody's had that big of a switch. That'd be like fucking 10 years from now. Somebody in Gen Alpha being like, I'm, nobody's had this big of a switch like me. Yeah, no shit. I am the first. We're still all at the start of our life. In the generation, it is very scary, but someone's got to do it. She also said that she is honored that people are comparing her to the new Miley Bangers moment. Who's doing that, dude? To which people scoffed because, you know, who the fuck? No one has made that comparison besides her own. I think she really wants people born in 2009 are millennials. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. And I don't want to make fun of you, but people born in 2009 are not millennials. Millennials are older than Gen Z. Uh, I'm in Gen Z and I was born in 2002. Zussi was born in 1998 or something like that. And he is also Gen Z. Uh, millennials were born in like the late 80s and the 90s. Um, Gen Alpha starts in like 20... When does Gen Alpha start? Like 2013 or 2011 or something like that people to be like this is a lot like my gen z's gen z there's no there's almost no there's there's no gen alpha in this chat cyrus's transformation but e even if the thing deadly for the three two things i love kid cutty i know uh you do too what's your favorite song mine's mr rager also you can hate eat not a huge fan but almost everybody in chat knows all and in, uh, in chat all know breath is fire favorite songs probably soundtrack to my life just because of the fucking chorus but i mean yeah mr rager's also good uh, his new his new album's pretty good too, like at the party and shit. I think if Miley Cyrus bought those songs too, it's at least just a more honorable, more divisive approach, right? I don't know if people really remember that shit back in the day. That shit was kind of fucked up. The bitch was song singing about party in the USA, and all of a sudden she's like chopped her hair off. She's swinging around half naked, kind of going full blown here. She's a bad girl, but we already knew that. Miley, not JoJo. All of this has caused numerous groans from the internet because of JoJo's delusion yeah, I and on. Weekend when that shit came out, though. I remember Miley Cyrus low key became my like celebrity crush when when Wrecking Ball came out. Whenever the fuck that was. Wrecking Ball was in 2013. I was I was 11. <laughs> I remember, I remember being like, yo, Miley Cyrus, though, dude. She's a bad girl, but we already knew that. Miley, not JoJo. All of this has caused numerous groans from the internet because of JoJo's delusion and audacity. She's been doing all these cringy, almost shit-posting troll masterful classes. I want to see a little masterclass. Masterclass, JoJo Siwa shit-trolling online. Now, this week, she called the paparazzi on herself exiting a sex shop with penis plushie to get into her JoJo Siwa car wearing her... What the fuck did she buy from the sex shop where her fucking receipt is <laughs> uh, a, f a foot and a half long? Oh my god. What's in the bag, JoJo? <laughs> Holy shit. That is so many things. That has to be that has to be like fucking 20 items. Paparazzi on herself exiting a sex shop with penis plushie to get into her JoJo Siwa car wearing her JoJo Siwa shirt. So she she called the paparazzi on herself? And the thing too about it is that this might be a successful marketing campaign. I know people are gonna be like, it's only so popular because people keep talking about it. The girl is gonna get paid regardless. The thing about it is that this is an absolute shit show travesty, which granted, is it going to affect her career negatively? I think so. I think that you, it's gonna be hard because this is the first big one, but then guess what? People are gonna get tired really. Yeah, it's like, is she gonna be able to do it again and possibly make a non- cringe song quick and it's gonna be just a flash in the pan is what i would say watch this like six years from now she's like a fucking grammy award-winning artist which the whole thing too is it's the same kind of criticism we had with j-lo's thing of it's a person who is completely disassociated from reality if you know you know and now they are like making music for the quote unquote real people that she still feels connected to even though like her brain could not even comprehend that she is so Bro, you know you know i would love to see a jojo siwa house tour 
That would be like a one, the one famous person that I need to see what's what's cooking in your mind. You know, like what do you think she has? That shit's probably like a really colorful rooms, and it's all themed like JoJo. She probably has like a portrait of herself and shit. Her face is like on the mugs and the plates and shit. So far, the toilet seat has like her in it. Down another path, which is fine, which is fine. But goddamn, she has a house tour. Stop. Stop. Oh my god. It's from five years ago, but it looks like it's like all... Oh, my new bedroom tour. Bro, but this isn't even her... That's not even her house. This is when she was still like a teenager. Just have some imbalance of humanity. You don't have to be with the regular pores anymore, dude. And the pores and the regular people, it's not the same ball field. You're dressing up as Gene Simmons and dancing. You get millions of dollars, and you have a rap car of your face. You think people, regular people are doing that? You think that's something that people are just like, hey, that's me? Are you sure? I don't think so. Best gay cousin ever. That's a fucking baller shirt. I actually have that exact same shirt and that exact same size in my house. But the iHeart carpet wasn't on the only place that JoJo has been pulling stunts. Which, dude, this is a classic. Dream guest on my podcast? Okay, why the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Dream guest on my podcast? I don't know. I might have to go with, um... Oh, this is a tough one. Teddy Roosevelt. Dude, kiss Ross. <laughs> oh, dude, people are rolling this bitch like crazy, dude. Why is her voice so raspy? Is that forced, do you think? Is it too much singing? Like her voice? I think it is too much singing. Maybe she's a pothead, dude. Who knows? Maybe she's ripping fucking unfiltered fucking American spirit cigarettes. You know, you don't even know, right? Maybe that's, maybe, maybe, her, maybe her fuck, she just has a fucking smoke room and she's just ripping fucking donks. Or her, th her throat's thrash. Now she sounds like kind of like a chain smoker or kind of like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Like kind of like a surfer, bro. Dream guest on my podcast? Dream guest on my podcast? <laughs> yes, that's radical. It's very catchy. And the problem is... Every part is catchy. It's like the, like, all the, all of a sudden you're head of the hours of... I don't know, dream guest on my podcast? Maybe Andrew Carnegie. See how he made all the steel, right? That'd be really interesting to just, you know, fucking see. Oh, I know, she talked about the Titanic. Dream guest on my podcast? Maybe one of the people that died from the Titanic. See how scary that was to see your ship sinking. Only for you to fall in the water and freeze to death. That girl. <laughs> Karma is a bitch. It's like all of a sudden your brain, there's multiple parts. The self-centered narcissism is just fucking unbelievable. I also love how important celebrities Maybe OJ Simpson? Up. Stop. My chat's ain't OJ, dude. Maybe OJ Simpson. But primarily during during the trial to be your entire existence is fabricated and propped up on like millions of dollars of record deals that have completely fabricated your p diddy might be a good one too <laughs> higher existence and then yeah they're just like no one is flex really doing it like I am. Uh, we talk a lot about cringe on this channel. We talk a lot about what's going on on the internet today, and this is just one thing that's happening in a moment that will pass by, much like a dying star in our universe. It will just shoot by and it'll be done. But for now, I think it's something that's really pretty fascinating, but it also just goes to show how much celebrities are up their own ass. Everything that a celebrity does, especially in pop music and stuff, is so fictitious. It's a lot. Well, I think it's also they have to they have even if they know that there's like things they need to work on, they have to like show this facade of I'm my my shit's amazing, this is great, blah blah blah, because then it pushes people towards it rather than them saying like, okay, here's where I went wrong. If you guys could give me feedback, that'd be great, you know, because then that's showing like 
Not weakness. I feel like that would work, though. If you were like, hey, this song was a flop, what would you guys rather have? And then kind of work off the fucking tweaks. I don't know. That was a good video, though. All right. We're going to fucking... Uh, chat, which one? We got to save one for another day. YouTuber goes into debt for Mr. Beast or the tragic story of counterfeit vape... At, uh, vape epi the, the tragic story of the counterfeit vape epidemic. Which one? One or two. One or two. Fuxi for the six. New to Twitch, want to say, uh, thank you for making my day. How bad do you smell? Right now, not not very bad. A cup for the sub. I think I have a must going on right now. Like, I might need a shower after stream, but I don't think I reek or anything. Adam for the three. Sorry if this is annoying. Here's the last of my bets. Think you missed my previous bets. What were your other ones? Mentioned it, but they didn't want to spam. I don't know if you played Pixel Gun 3D. Probably not going to play Pixel Gun 3D. So darn. Let me look at your other chat. Don't usually uh, have money to send uh, gifts. This is a rare occasion. Sorry if it's a small quantity. You've probably asked this question. Have you ever watched Invincible? No. I'm going to watch it when I'm done the Fallout show, though. Fox die for the sub. All right. Most people are voting the Mr. Beast one. We'll do that one. Save the other one for another day. Jenny for the five. What's a good, fun, romantic vacation spot in the U.S.? Uh, Kensington. Is a great one. Um, Orlando, Florida, Camden, New Jersey, um, Chicago, but specifically O Block is a great place to stay. Um, what else? Yeah, yeah, Gary, Indiana. That's a really good one. That's a really good one. Gary, Indiana is a great place. Yeah. No, that you would you would love it. You would it, like you, they they probably have nice picnic spots. Very inclusive, right? They like everybody. They definitely don't, you know. They're definitely not the most racist town in America, or anything, right? Baltimore, Maryland. Actually, though, a good fucking spot, like for for a romantic vacation. Just get an Airbnb in like a mountainy area, whether it be in like. Pennsylvania, New York, Colorado. Like, that's my genuine answer. Get, like, a mountainy, you know, like, fucking lodge. Like an A-frame or something. YouTuber goes into debt for Mr. Beast. Lock in. I've taken out, like, probably $60,000 in loans for videos prior to having 100,000 subscribers. Dude, taking out 60 grand in loan debt to make a YouTube video is horrifying. That is literally gambling on whether or not it's going to fucking do well or not. 60k for fucking video before 100k subs you don't even know if you're gonna fucking make it listen i know a lot of people want to be a content creator nowadays but i don't think putting yourself in debt is a smart way to go about it it seems like i could understand you maybe like buying a fucking thousand dollar camera or something to try and film but 60k in debt for a fucking what the fuck are you using that money for Today's YouTube landscape is just literally a making a Mr. Beast copy video, giving a giving a hundred random homeless people fucking a thousand dollars. Obsessed with money. Money. I mean, everything is just a challenge video, or or someone building some grand, oh elaborate, giant thing that's expensive. I built a twenty-five thousand dollars Super Mario castle for my cat. That just doesn't even sound entertaining to watch. 2.8 million views though. Giant thing. Yeah, I definitely made money on it. I don't know about 25k though. It's expensive. I bought this entire gated neighborhood, and whoever stays in this neighborhood the longest wins 100,000 Mr. Beast burgers. This video is brought to you by Feast Pools. My chocolate. Bro, the D's nuts bars are so much worse than the new peanut butter one they had. I ate a whole ass bar yesterday, and it was good as fuck. Bass for the three. Fuck Steve for the three. You said my name wrong. How do I say it? Fox die. Brody for the thousand biddies. What is your favorite stoner movie? Mine's Cheech and Chong. Um, the uh, dude where's my car? By far, Jenny for the five. I had to think of it. Dude where's my car is the best stoner movie. Uh, or Grandma's Boy. Chocolate brand. The largest. We built the largest chocolate. Two hundred thousand dollars. I mean, back in my day, it was just people dressing up in pink morph suits trying to be funny.
Enter Matthew Beam, a relatively... Dude, it is crazy how filthy Frank went from being, like, a... Very cancelable in today's world YouTuber to a fucking multi-million dollar fucking record produce not record producing, fucking just famous singer, Joji, right? Like, literally going from, like, making, like, vomit videos and hair cake and, like, racial jokes and just, like, walking around being, like, a nuisance in general to literally making, like, emotional, heartwarming songs that people, like, cry to. He probably has people that, like, fucking dance to his songs at their weddings. And he used to be crawling around in a fucking pink morph suit, like, five fucking years ago. Enter Matthew Beam, a relatively new YouTuber who exploded onto the scene with viral content such as, I hired 50, <laughs> I hired I hired 50, 50 real Spider-Men. 35 million views? Bro, I just buy 50 fucking Spider-Man costumes and give them to my friends. 50, 35 million views? This video probably made fucking a bag. Eight minutes, too? Probably jammed mid-roll ads into an eight-minute video. Made, like, fucking two mil. Not two mil. Like, probably, like, 250k. 50 real-life Spider-Man. Uh, that's not even grammatically correct, but you, uh, somehow it has 35 million views, so I think, I, I guess I'm doing something wrong here. Thank God he has a giant arrow pointing to himself, because in this crowd of Spider-Men, I- What are those in the back? Oh, they're the Venom Spider-Men. I really couldn't tell that. Hired 50 real-life Spider-Men? This guy just looks like a fucking security guard. He's wearing a Nike hat. But that was Matthew Beam, so, you know, thank you for clarifying that. Most of his videos are centered around doing wacky, expensive stuff. Or just straight up stalking famous people. Stalking famous people? Don't worry, I'll elaborate on that later. Just remember that tidbit of information. What's the most money you spent on a YouTube video in those early days? I would say probably when I gave Mr. Beast the smart car. We uploaded it. I thought that would be the game changer. And it took 55 days to get 60,000 views on it. Bruh. I was telling my... That's horrible. Bro, that's not even enough money to pay the interest of the loan back. Two months for 60k views? Shit. How, what is he doing now? Matthew Beam. I've seen him on TikTok, but I don't watch his videos. I built Aiden Ross's dream gaming room. Didn't that motherfucker just retire from streaming? He has 5 million subs. It's hard to be a Mr. Beast, though, unless you have just an obscene level of spending revenue. Matthew Beam, live your dream. The real way I get money. This just sounds like some guy that's going to sell me a fucking Forex plan and make me give him $1,000 and then fucking block me. How much do I make a year? He had like seven videos by that point. I feel like he probably makes a bag on shorts. Yeah, he's a shorts guy. Oh, no, he's not. He just makes like a few videos. I mean, he really went all in and it fucking worked. I challenged ISO speed to a soccer 1v1. Yeah, he really just has connections now. I mean, he gets video views. I built my house out of Lego. I'm transforming this empty piece of land into a life-size Lego Mega Mansion. The walls, the floor, and even the furniture will all be made using Lego bricks. Will the TV be made out of Legos? Even the TV. We're going to start off by building the main Lego tower that will be holding the entire build together. This needs to be extremely strong because it's going to hold up the rest of our house. Dude, it's literally just the Mr. Beast method, though. It's like all, it's all just like Mr. Viewing Beast. Viewing our Lego. And I, it really is a method, though, that gets views. Like, there are, it's not even just him. There's probably like 10 other channels that do the same bullshit. Even like FaZe Rug will do like Mr. Beast styled, not styled in terms of editing necessarily, but like the big idea based videos that are like just, uh, just random stupid shit that you could get fucking eyes on just to dismantle it the next fucking day. Just build a fucking house, dismantle it, cost fucking 20 grand, but it's going to make you 50. Bro, bro. We were just around the corner for the loud bang and this entire wall crashed down. I like how there's that. It's just not it's just not entertaining now. 
Maybe it just might be this video, though. Some of them seemed interesting, like him 1v1ing speed. Entire family and friends that like, this is gonna be the video that changes my life. And that was like a probably around $20,000 video. Now for anyone uninformed with how YouTube pays out, 60,000 views is not nearly enough to cover 20 grand. YouTube- 60K views uh, on an entertainment video? is probably fucking nothing dude a thousand views say he had like a ten dollar cpm he probably made like 600 bucks maybe less probably less if we're being real like the most he would have made is probably 600 bucks if he had ten dollars per thousand views but he probably realistically made like four two pays out differently per thousand views based on what niche you're in now i don't know what niche matthew beam is exactly in but in my niche that's not even a thousand dollars. That's not even a rack, bro. That's not enough to even do a money spread. So like, like this dude, this dude made a schmeckle back in views. He he put in, oh my god. But take me through like like, cause I think you're so good at social hacking. What the fuck is social hacking, dude? That sounds like a snake oil salesman term. Like that doesn't even sound like a real thing. I mean, that's definitely a definition right there. It does. The act of attempting to manipulate outcomes of social behavior through orchestrated actions. So it's trying to determine what people would like or not like. That's just every social influencer. Doesn't, doesn't necessarily seem like it's a good thing to be good at. I mean, I mean, it literally says without proper permission. That doesn't. That doesn't seem that doesn't seem like a good thing. Oh my god, guys, it all makes sense now. Matthew Beam social hacked 35 million people. Joe money spread? Oh yeah, for sure. Hold up. Oh, Chad, I'm about to shit myself. I might not get it. I might not get through this video, I swear to God. I'm sitting here, and you know when you gotta poop so bad that like your um hold up let me do my money spread while i do this you know when you got a shit so bad that you're um you're like clenching your ass cheeks trying not to like shit yourself that's what i'm going through right now just want y'all to know that all ones they're fake too they're from the mr beast video they're not even real they're fucking fake ones they're like you can kind of tell they're fake motion picture it says on the back if it loads motion picture purposes they're fake money it's fake dollars. It's not even real. I got fake motion, swear to God. Hold up. Do it with all hundreds? I might as well. Yup. No. GG for the sub ready for the three. Well, into watching his I hired 50, 50 real spider. This is when he pays his editors. Yeah, I give my editors fake money. Spider Man video. I mail them. I mail them uh like fucking twenty like twenties, but they're just all fake and they they don't realize it for like months. Oh yeah, you know yeah I yeah I social hack the algorithm from time to time. You know I I man, shut the fuck up. What the hell is social hacking, man? I'm gonna kick your ass. How much in savings did you have at this time? I was just spending every dollar that I got instantly back into the channel. So yeah. I would say that probably nothing. That's terrible. Don't if guys okay. This doesn't even apply to YouTube. It, it applies to every. I mean, you could spend everything back into the fucking channel outside of the taxes that you have to pay unless you're going to write off everything. But I would say also only do that if you have a part-time job. If your part-time job is YouTube. If you're going to try and make no money and just keep putting everything back in, you're going to get fuck you're going to go fucking broke. Everything in life, whatever you want to accomplish in life, don't be broke, okay? Don't don't do this. I mean, sure, you hear some success stories of people who threw all their money back into their business. I can't do this. I have to shit so bad. I will shit my pants, Chad. I'm so serious. This is the worst I've had to poop in so long. I'm trying to fucking, I'm trying to hold it. I'm trying to hold it. I can't. I'm sorry. We're going to end stream here. I got to take a dump. I'm sorry. Yep. Go, great end of the stream here. W stream of the chat. A uh, quick little outro here before I shit my pants. Exhibition with Discord. Join the Discord. It's time for this gets you to play video. Scotch time. Game scratch time. I find most of the videos that I watch the games that I play. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be live doing a sim day. Tuesday I'm not going to be live. Uh, Wednesday is going to be a scary game day uh, in Scary Reacts. Thursday is going to be Rainbow Six and Fortnite and also an early stream because uh, I have to take pictures for merch. Friday's Reacts. Saturday is going to be uh, the merch drop and then also the driving sim. Right, We're going to be doing driving sim games and then also other shit. Sunday's Reacts. Next Monday we're going to be doing Simulacra and maybe some other FMV horror games. GG for the sub. Brody for the fucking three. Thank you guys for tuning in. I had a great chat, great audience today. You guys fucking came out in large numbers, and I appreciate that. We're literally going to fucking raid Meat Canyon.
because he's a goddamn W streamer. But I hope y'all had fun watching because uh, I had a fun time streaming, and I hope to catch you in future streams. Going to post on YouTube right when I end to so go watch that. I might have to take a shit first, but you'll see it then. I'll see you guys soon. We'll literally raid fucking Papa Meat. But yeah, I'll catch y'all soon. Oh, it's, am I not able? Oh, wait. Slash raid meat and yun. Will it raid him? Oh, it will. Okay. But yeah, catch y'all soon. Hope y'all had fun. And I will see y'all uh, tomorrow for some storage hustle and then some other sim games. Catch y'all then. See y'all Friday for the people that want to watch the next react stream. But yeah, catch y'all then. We're going to.